Yeah, yeah, educate Jamal. It's hey, your girl, Dez. Hold on, oh, hold on. We got to restart that, man. No, nah, it was ladies first. <laughs> ladies first. I don't know which he one's always line. Goes first. Okay, that's he goes first, then when I go. But that's my cue. So boy. now you you elevated. You preceded me already. Dang. Well, it's because like, I'm that. sandwiched in. Goddamn, I mean, we're not even a minute in. Oh, Y'all man. <laughs> oh, I see <laughs> how it is. So, so yeah, power I seated. see it. I'm about to get cut soon, so I see how things are going. Oh my God. So who gets who gets the second spot? <clears throat> um, let's, let's, let's figure this out. I, I, okay, let's do. <laughs> let's go ahead. And I mean, I we can save like the best rock. for last, so you can I, go second. <laughs> I think we need rock paper scissors over it. I'm not right. We <laughs> rock are paper scissors. Done. Rock paper scissors. Out, best out of this three. Nigga. Okay. <laughs> no, no. One and done. One and done. Yeah, one and done. We don't have time let's for that. Go. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> y'all, y'all will both get paper. One more. Come on. Uh, uh, uh. Yo, Nana's Come going on. a second, yeah, uh, a split going, second yeah. late. Oh, I see it. No, I are. You are. <laughs> see, I, see I feel like you I'm are. being accused. Okay. One, one no, more no, time. No, no, Same no, no, time. No, no. Okay. Same time. Mm -hmm. mm, mm, mm. Oh, all right. Uh, so Nana, get, Nana man gets the second yeah. spot. So like oh, I said, man. save the best for last. All right, problem solved. Oh, there, bro. Hey, yo. Whatever helps you sleep at night. So yo, mm -hmm. niggas, how y'all feeling today? I'm feeling, actually, man, I've been feeling bad, man. I don't know what I got. But uh, it, it, it's is it finally, curable? It, um, yes, it's curable. Okay, from what I know. Ooh, so it's either what is that? Chlamydia, gonorrhea. <laughs> Yo, the, the warning. Uh, the, I call the, I call those the warnings. You know, yeah. those when you need. It's not one of the big uh, three. You know, it's just a little warning shots. God let you know it, it, you need to change from, the way you move. It's from King. the waist up. It's, it's from, from the waist up. So I don't I don't think it's oh, any is of that those. Face um, base up nah. Degrassi is the nah. one that taught us all that. I don't know about you. Degrassi mm -hmm. is what showed me that how you could get. You had Degrassi. sexual education through Degrassi. Nick, did you know that you could get gonorrhea on the lips before Degrassi? I sure as hell I didn't. Even... I never watched Degrassi. Oh yeah, yeah, it went there back in Aubrey's, you know, Drake's uh, even, generation. Even his class. It was in it. Disney XD. I remember watching it or the Noggin. The yeah, end. it was on Noggin and, and it switched yeah. to the end. And I feel like the end doesn't Nick Cannon own partnership in the end. He does. Okay, so that's how he's a very wealthy man. Yeah, I like that. But, um, I mean, I saw it on. I just always changed the channel. Mm -hmm. I mean, I didn't. I wasn't interested in like teenage. I just, I just love the theme song. Whatever it <laughs> takes, I know I'm gonna make it through. You can be the best. So obviously, I never get nobody to, <laughs> to verify nothing. Like every song I sing, and I'm gonna pull it up. Like there, the, yet last week when I was talking about the final countdown, everybody here looking like clueless, like they've never heard that song. Final. No, countdown. no, we I, ne look. I never heard that song. You never heard the final countdown? Nah. I knew what it was. It just you probably said it at a time that it didn't apply. <laughs> but probably. every it seems like every time doesn't apply for me. Yeah, I've been noticing that lately. <laughs> Sounds like, like a no problem. Nigga, Nana, could you be on what New York say? You be on a different type of time, my guy. But it I doesn't just, matter. That's the nicest way I could put it. We, diversity and inclusion. We shouldn't just tolerate diversity. No, I don't diversity. agree with inclusion, we actually. Should, we should not tolerate diversity. We should celebrate it, okay? We, mm -hmm. I should be celebrated. I mean, and I do I just feel it. like, you know, sometimes y'all just shun me. Like, I have good ideas, and maybe I don't articulate it the best way. But Can we still. save this for our therapy session mm -hmm. later on? Therapy Ooh. session. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of therapy, have you been going to your sessions lately? Well, I went to the first. I only okay. had one so far. Hey. Hey. Give a round of applause. Jenna, but give it was that, a, give a man, round of applause right? It was there. a man. It's a white yeah. man named Tom. It's a white man? Yeah, a white man named Tom. I wanted to go. Uh, like, you gonna I wanted, go to the oppressor about your oppression? I know, right? <laughs> but you know what? He's gay, also. Mm. So, and I think the reason that, he, that I think the reason right. he opened that, that up to sense. me was to like kind of relate, like yeah, he had, like minority <laughs> struggles, you know. Mm -hmm. Because he was like, you know, me being yeah. a, a gay man in the in the '60s in Louisiana or in the mm. '70s, you know, he's a real yeah, cool dude. He was trying to get some brownie points. Yeah, that's that. what he was mm. trying to do. But it's all good. He seemed like a nice guy, but it was just the assessment. Yeah. So we didn't really dive in because me like. Most people, they get in a therapy session and they just kind of closed off, don't really want to talk. Man, I don't got time for that shit. I'm trying to get the most out of this hour. Okay, so I went straight to it. I was just putting out all, all past traumas, yeah. all past, like, I just went to get straight to the shits. Mm -hmm. But, you know, it was just the assessment. <laughs> so we'll see. We follow up okay. next week. Was it the Tom off of my state base? 
Was it a time off MySpace? Anyways, your top eight? Anyways, it probably was. <laughs> he over here. You you pay for Tom. That's how to talk about, about, about my friend like that. Yeah, that, that was my friend Yo, too. Tom, Tom is eating them. Actually, that was EJ's only friend on top eight. I know you had top one. It was just top Tom. one. <laughs> it was just. It's Tom. like if Tom ain't your friend, I would. I don't know how these kids today would act if Tom was if they didn't get Tom as a friend. Like if it was the just the way they great, act right now, just yeah. trolling everybody. Yeah. Oh, we are gonna get into that. But yo, definitely we can't start this show off with saying R.I.P. Stan Lee. All right. Oh, yeah, R.I.P. Stan the man. For those who don't know, because Dad's over here looking like R.I.P. Stan- Jamal Gasobi oh, too. Stan, Stan Lee the is yes. Stan Lee is the uh, is the creator of Marvel, of yeah. Spider Man. He lived X-Men. a long life, ninety three. Oh yeah, this isn't yeah, a tragedy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like he just crossed like almost hundred to the other side. <laughs> he, he him and Hugh Hefner. <laughs> almost at it. Yeah, yeah. yeah, him and Hugh Hefner to me look the same. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I always thought they were the same guys. Like I can never tell the difference. Yeah, man. They were old white, and, that, and that's all. Is I that knew. why you got into comics? Because you thought it was gonna get you girls? Comics. You I love person? comics. No, I just love Spider Man. Spider Man is yeah. my favorite hero. Spider Man. Spider Man. Radioactive Spider Man. I don't even think that's the, the words. I thought it was do everything <laughs> a spider can, nigga. Like. No, that was that was that sounds Spider-Man. more legit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, 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 no. That was no. the D- Disney XD version. I didn't watch Disney XD. I no, was, no, like, actually, that, that was shit. Like that was a di- that was actually the Spider Man that you can watch on CW. I didn't watch comics at no. all. CW. Like, I hate I hate comics and I hate fantasy movies and um, all that. Well, see, like that was a big. Like the closest I get to it is like I did like you, I loved you, Avatar. Avatar was great, but like Avatars were black. By the, the way, the closest I've been they is they actually they were Native Americans. I would say if I had to uh, yeah, race, I would avatars would be the Native Americans. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, for but yeah, but back I can see you as an avatar. To watch that movie. That's the yeah. crazy thing. I, I can see you. Hey, let's not take the sound out Stan the Man, yo. We gotta give this dude his props because he's one of my biggest inspirations of all oh, time, okay. yo. Like, he created, like, not just Marvel, it's between him and Quentin Tarantino, my two biggest inspirations. And you know what? Tom Holland needs to remember this. You know Tom Tom Holland is the kid who no. played the new Spider-Man in Infinity War. Oh, the tra- that guy. Trash? trash? He don't have no muscle definition. Like the dude is a buck uh, ten. Dude, you missed the entire point of Spider Man if you're saying he's not muscular enough to play him. You missed the entire. Tobey Maguire was way better. Tobey Maguire was too emotional. He he was too pussy. But I feel like I connected with him. Like it's okay. Like Tobey Maguire. Like like I said, (laughs) Tobey Maguire was pussy. See, that's why you in therapy, bro. Masculinity <laughs> is now, vulnerability. I give uh-huh. you that one. Masculinity <laughs> is vulnerability. You have to. Like, I mean, but anyways, go ahead. I, I intruded on Well, no, your- that was just the whole thing, though. What made Spider-Man such a great hero is that he was so personal. He was so relatable. Like, he he wasn't invincible. He I wasn't really like, relatable, relatable I but maybe to like, you. No, he was very relatable. He see. paid bills. He had girl issues. He, he fucking... Bills? He was oh regular clearly yeah, he didn't know read Spider Man. Uh, all right, uh, like uh, motherfucker went through normal normal type shit, you know. And then when he died in Infinity War, when Peter Parker died, that was actually the first movie he, he died. I guess Where I the fuck? Wait, you at the see? end though, but I don't know. Something <laughs> happened at it's the okay, end. Okay, I didn't want to watch. Then, yeah, <laughs> but did he just? He probably deserved it. He he vanished. Oh mm-hmm. my gosh! Y'all. Well, everybody vanished. We don't know if they died. Not everybody did. Yeah, everybody vanished. No, no, not everybody vanished. There was, Tony Stark, Iron Man was still there. Doctor Strange was still there. All how the original movies, Avengers were still there. How many movies are in like the series, the, like so the Marvel wanted, Universe? Like if I wanted to watch, it's too many. Yeah, I really don't know I, the yeah. exact like, number. I want to say at least. Yeah. See, I don't have close time to for twenty. That. I'm not really big into like fantasy stuff like that, and like. Mm-hmm. But you gotta watch yeah. Infinity War because. That was the first movie that made me no, cry. No, I'm not going to watch it. You know why? Because you just told me that somebody died. Nigga, it's been over a year. It's no longer a spoiler. If, if, if I had it ruined it for you, it just the came internet out did. Like six months ago. But the yeah, internet been, say, the internet been, been ruined it. Like, you've mm. had to have seen the Thanos snap I didn't sla- care enough me. to even read the spoilers. Did you watch Black you Panther? Yes, I watched there we Black go. Panther. That's Marvel. T'Challa disappeared. Yeah. Well, they were black, so I didn't really care if yeah. it was Marvel or. I ain't gonna lie, like that whole intro to Black Panther, <laughs> I just started crumping for no reason, like in the theater. I was just, <laughs> no, I was just they, felt when empowered. they were doing the little shoulder shit. Yeah, like, that I was, was just like, that's how you knew, like this movie T'Challa! is black. Yeah, like I, loved I was it. just like, <laughs> for some reason, I just started speaking. Like I, it, I don't know. That shit like, made I just you studied. How do you have a bad African accent and you African? <laughs> Thank you. Know, you. That's a good thing. <laughs> Thank you. That's a good that question. sound almost as bad as Will Smith Indian. in that concussion movie. Like, <laughs> yo, Will should be ashamed of his fucking self for that. What movie was that? Uh, 
Well, concussion. Yeah, that's no, what it was called, called right? concussion. concussion. Yeah. That was the worst, man. Idris yeah, Elba had yeah, to I clean bet. it up with that movie he did on Netflix. Kind of <laughs> showed him how it was done. Like he did a great job with the. Wait, what's the movie on Netflix? Yeah. Uh, um, children, children. No, it's something. Was it was it him when he Idris it's fine. Elba just, was man, uh, uh, yeah. Nelson yeah. Mandela? When he was Nelson Mandela? No, it wasn't that one. Uh, but just search up Idris Elba. It had to do with a war, it was a war movie or something. Oh, you are talking about Beast of No Nation. Beast of No Nation. Yeah, yes, yeah, that one. That yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. With the yeah, child they, the they child crazy, soldiers. Yeah, but yeah it was yeah, dope. That was, yeah, it okay. was pretty good. And hell, even to the dude who played T'Challa, Chadwick Boseman did an incredible Nigerian accent, I think. He's not African? No. I thought he was too. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he went to Harvard. I think he went to one of the Ivy. I think he school. is African. I think he's just not like. I think he's African American. Like no, I think African his parents. American. Yeah, are, like us. Well, no. I, I thought I thought his like parents were from like outside of the U.S. Mm. No, I think I, he, I no, don't. He's African. I, yeah, I thought no, he, no, he's not African. I thought he was born here. Yeah, he's born here. Yeah, from, like, I want to say he's from the East Coast or something. Or something. I could be no, wrong. He's from the South somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. yeah okay. South Carolina. SC, South Carolina. <laughs> That's crazy. But yo, man, definitely looking for y'all. Shout out to Stan Lee, man. Definitely yeah. mean much. I wish I could have met you. But hey, yeah. uh, let's get on to this Jill Scott giving head to the mic. Oh. <laughs> I'm yeah. going to back up. You're going to back up? Why not? Like, I feel like she. What, we gonna, we gonna she get to it. Power I mean, women he said or? that, I and I'm so. like right at the mic, so I was just like, "Let me." I ain't gonna lie, like man. Jill should have empowered <laughs> you to not I, back away I from the mic. What she was doing when she was taking a long walk in the park after dark, uh -huh. you know. <laughs> For one, okay. For the record, There's not too many things you can do after. Let's dark. tell our audience what exactly happened. Okay. So, like, she was at a concert and she was like. Um, she, pretending to give like fellatio on the mm, mic uh -huh. while she was like performing and then she was like moaning and all that stuff. Apparently I haven't been to a Jill Scott concert okay, but apparently this is yeah. odd for her. So yeah, oh. you can see the video there. She's, yeah, like tongue action. Go ahead, yeah. Jill. And, and, don't, and don't forget, the. Hey, let's not ignore the fact that she also giving the balls attention. Like look at her. She grabbed the end of it, she put wipe yeah. away with some spit. Like a lot of y'all days forget to like y'all don't neglect y'all don't y'all neglect Dang. the balls like that's very important and then like we look can at what we, she does. Can you put a pause in there. Mm. Oh <laughs> yeah, I don't know what. To and then watch the record. Uh, and then watch what she does at the end. Okay. He's saying a lot of females, not a lot of like dads. You have so, no idea. So I guess I guess <laughs> you're record, speaking from EJ personal experience. experience. Uh huh. You're speaking from personal experience. Yeah, women so do. You, a lot of women neglect the balls. Of, a lot of them. A lot. Yeah, a lot of your experiences, they neglect the balls. Yes. They do? Yeah, yeah. It's often neglected. And you know what? Also, if you go if you go even further, what I what I also notice is big girls give the best head. Oh. The I best head I've ever got that. was a bit from a big girl. I can't attest to that, but go ahead and share, brother. I mean it is what it is. Speak I think it's because mind, I think it's because they have the most they they compensate for it. They like I think that like the compensate for what? Because the baddest chicks, your favorite IG chick or whatever, I bet she fucking trash as hell in bed. Give trash head. We saw that. Who was it that gave trash head that uh, Black China? No. Black China. That Perfect was weak. example. It was weak. It's like the bigger the ass, the better the face. The less she feels she need to prove herself when she's in bed. Big girls know. though, they know how to they they know how to make it work. So, Honestly, I feel like she'll eat me. Like and sometimes I get scared. And, and like, that can't like be a, that might not be a bad thing. She'll literally like engulf me in one <laughs> I would be like, whoa. Oh, that shit sound kinda hot. I feel to like me. belly like, of the be <laughs> be in her stomach? That's hot. So to you. I'm gonna say something, and I don't want any of our listeners to get offended. Anybody who's oh, like, fuck that. Tell them to be pussy. Saying, I don't think that it's based off of being a big girl. I think it's based off of hunger. And I'm not <laughs> saying that. I'm not saying that because big girls are hungry all the time or anything. But I know uh -huh. when I'm hungry, uh -huh. I get, do a better job versus when I like just ate wait, food. Wait, wait. So are you saying that <laughs> the key to getting some Speak bomb ass on, head queen. is feed her afterwards? Like hungry head is the best head. I, I would say. I, I mean, just speaking from my own. Yes or no, nigga? Is mm. hungry head the best head? It's a yes or no. You from put yourself own, in a circumstance. From my own, yeah. you know, personal experience, mm -hmm. when I'm hungry, 
I give better head than when I'm full. I mean, when you full, so like, don't be taking you could throw up. Basically, it. fellas, don't take these girls on dates. Don't take them yeah, out. You're absolutely no, no, no. You better no, go this no. go to Wendy's, get a four for four, <laughs> let her and share the four for four. <laughs> let her barely eat. You know, right? You still barely. Gotta, you, you get, get half, half now, half later. Okay. You got you got to have a little something on your something. You can't yeah, yeah. Give them like a deposit. You know, yeah, like you can You only give them a deposit. Start you off with a little something now. Yeah, the rest yeah, after you yeah. finish the job. Or two, y'all. We fat. Fasting together. <laughs> what you mean? Shit. We fast. I mean, just mm-hmm. think about it. Like Drake, mm-hmm. you know, don't even play to take it to go. Like, I mean, at the end of the day, like most of the time, if you really trying to like get down with the person you with, like y'all not finna just eat a full meal. I mean, because uh-huh. like a, a man too. Like if y'all full, y'all yeah. not trying to have sex on like a full stomach. Me, so, yeah, I'm not. Like, I mean, it's the same with women. I just, I mean, from my experience, like I said, I'm a little bit better. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. He has the best head. But okay. honestly, man, I, I was kind of scared on there. Like. Mm-hmm. She look like hungry, hungry hippos. You know, oh, like oh man, and, this hungry, oh hungry gosh. hippo can fucking yeah, I clean know. Me up, bro. <laughs> I know. <laughs> and now I understand why she wanted to take a walk in the park after dark. <laughs> Who wants to do that? It's dangerous <laughs> after dark. <laughs> I you know, see what you want to do. And you know what else I got too? You notice how she caught? She mimicked like coming, like uh, catching cum in her face, right? Now nah. I hope that what this does is all you black chicks, Des. Nah. Okay. Oh, I man. hope this puts it into the stigma that nah. it is okay. It is okay, ladies, to take about, cum in mm. the face. Nobody is saying that it's not okay. It's personal preference. Most of us just prefer not to have cum in the face. For one, like, where do you get that from? You get that whole idea of that from porn. Yeah. And porn in general is like an industry where they just disrespect women all the way across the board. They disrespect guys too. I'm not Speak saying up they kings. don't. Mm-hmm. I'm not saying they don't, but not, it, you know, yeah. it's unrealistic approach to sex. Like you're not really finna be out here your <laughs> first time, like having a threesome with her, her friend, and her sister. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. so, you know, across the board it's just disrespectful. So I think the whole idea of coming on somebody's face comes from porn. So that's fine if you get a girl that is open to that or willing to do that. But mm-hmm. for one, y'all niggas need to start acting right because ain't no girl finna do any of this, give you good head or get take come on her face if you ain't even acting right. I so. think coming, but if we go down on you, Actually, we automatically no. get come in our face. Oh, so the way we should look at your mind, y'all King. should look at come on the face as. Not dating a guy who doesn't give I, head. It's, it's, like, really it's, 20, face it's like it's twenty. It's like it's twenty eighteen. Okay. Grow the fuck up. <laughs> All right, it's twenty eighteen. Yeah. Well, it's twenty eighteen. A lot of niggas don't know where the clit is, so that's Dude. that's a problem. Okay, hey, a I, lot of guys I, out here you, just uh, just piping girls down and, yep. that, and then asking, "Well, did you come?" <laughs> like three strokes hey. in, like no, I didn't come. And this you is wasting my time. I'm mad I came mine. over. So, so I'm hoping this Jill Scott performance can outdo <laughs> the damage done by Insecure by promoting that stigma mm. that it's somehow disrespectful to get a cum shot from your man. Mm. You said, and I like I how mean, you said you 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 said from from your man. You know? Yeah, right. So not just from no random yeah, nigga. It's a random right. person, yeah. And I think, I, like honestly, I said, it, a lot of them it'd be random. But anyways, I don't want to <laughs> talk about that. I don't want to talk about that. I think it's yeah. all about some girl. Oh, I'm sorry I'm to talking, interrupt I'm you. I'm talking. No, you, you're sorry to stay me, over there. Hold on. Some so, girl told me it was protein. Like I was like, it shit. is a good moisturizer. Like I was oh like, God. this so girl right here, wild. <laughs> Go ahead, Des. So you gonna so you gonna put your own come on your face too? We both need to stay moisturized. <laughs> Drink water, moisturize, and mind our business. Mm-hmm. Yo, I think well, I think that's kind of counterproductive. I think it's the shit that we eat, everything we eat, what we drink. I think that's what makes it. So you putting your girl come on her face? Huh? On your, you you put you gonna put your girl come on your face then? I mean, if we're going if we going, we're if we, a, a diet. I mean, if we getting all yeah. up in it, we automatically getting come on our face. But then you gonna moisturize with it, right? Oh, that's what I'm. That's I what feel I'm like it'll be good. There's for your there's beard. rolls here. Like there's it's beard, it's shit. beard oil. I feel like it'll hey, be good for yours. You know what? Yeah. You know I what? Feel, I feel like it's beard oil. That's oh the gosh. angle that women need to go for because that actually has me thinking now. I think it's beard oil. Beard oil. Yeah. Interesting. I now, like it. And, I I, and it. also, I want to speak from, and this is just from a friend. Not none of these are from my the personal lies. experience. But anyway, some girl always every time I come over or she'll come over, she always gave me pineapples. Just eat. Come on, she already uh-huh. eat pineapples. You know why, right? I was like, what's going on here? What's going on? Yeah. You know. But well, basically, anyways. she was well, telling you that your cum tastes nasty, so she was trying to get you to get some pineapple so you can... Obviously, you got a poor diet. Oh. Y'all, you ever <laughs> tasted your own cum before? Yeah. Oh. 
Let's go. <laughs> ever, that, I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna keep it real. I've never done it. Yo. I've ne- I've never done it. But I hear, I, I, I hear, I hear it's quite row. common though. I hear it's quite common for people to do that. I never done it though. Hmm. You know, I don't, have, I don't let know. y'all know if I did, yeah, but I, I really didn't. Nah. Yeah, the way you asked that I, question, pretty bold. I, 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 have I yet think to you did, and you just ain't had no so. support. I didn't. So you didn't want to mm. say nothing else. No, come on now. Nah, I, I have yet to experience that myself. But anyways, uh, and 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 you didn't and, answer the question, and, and ladies. Though, I want to apologize to Dez. I did cut her off. I just wanted to really get that off my chest from my friend's experience. Um, but Dez, you have the uh, our I, you know attention. what? I just want to change the subject. <laughs> All right, that baby throwing a drink at Izzy. Hold up, Dez. Did you ever answer the question though? What question? Did you? Did you? Have you ever tasted your own cum? <clears throat> no. Oh, okay. We, bad baby. We can, <laughs> I, I just remember hearing the answer. I okay. can't, can't run from that. All right, bad baby. You just didn't want to be alone yeah. in this. That's what it was. <laughs> I, did, I have it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I really have it. The so lie. I see what, how we started off this uh, this this episode. Yeah, yeah. Just like uh, we started off the last one when I walked, you walked in and y'all started talking about masturbation and stuff. Like, mm-hmm. good lord. Yeah, that it's that bit, season. Yeah. It's getting cold outside, <laughs> man. You know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. So, what, when is society are we gonna stop rewarding bad behavior? Never. Okay, let's get some context <laughs> here. So it was the Fashion Nova event for Cardi. She was releasing her uh, collection with Fashion Nova, and not only did she have a collection, because a lot of a lot of people out here got collections with Fashion Nova, mm-hmm. but this was actually like an exclusive. Like they did an entire launch party for it. Um, people performed and everything. Um, she um, she also like her clothes were to me a, a lot better, a lot more tasteful than what Fashion Nova normally has. And it looked bad, Bobby. Little, no, Cardi B. So oh, it, it was Bobby? her event or baby bad baby. So um, for the event, obviously a lot of like heavy hitters came to the event because Fashion Nova cut them checks. So like you know Iggy was there, bad baby was was there. They've been beefing online back and forth for like a while, which I knew really, nothing about. Well, really, it was mostly bad baby just who yeah. was also catch me outside girl. If you don't yeah. know, yeah. she was mostly just beefing with herself because Iggy would respond like here and there, but it wasn't like anything like consistent. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and so um. I don't know. Basically, the isn't she still in fifth grade or something? I don't even think she's like legal to fight. Yeah, I don't. So, know. I think she just turned fifteen. Yeah, like, like new fifteen. Grade. Yeah, I, I was, I was gonna guess grade. like sixteen or something. But yeah. either way, like no, no grown adult can put their hands wears the on same her thing and everything. Like, no, she always <laughs> yeah. wearing that fucking white strap, like the sleeveless white strap uh, shirt with jeans. And a ponytail. She she's a exact, kid. But she looked the exact. I said she looked the exact she's same like in every scene, character, yeah. every picture. Yeah. And actually, yeah, on this day, Simpsons. her hair was red, and it looked like she had just finished dyeing her hair because it was like her forehead was red too. So uh, probably, <laughs> yeah. or they just sprayed it up. <laughs> <laughs> right, and where something went wrong, but yeah. um. Yeah, so basically, you know, the video came out, but before the video came out, you know, Bad Baby was saying all this mess about Iggy coming up to her and, like, trying to act like they were friends, and then, like, that's when she threw the drink. But actually, somebody near Bad Baby's camp recorded it, and the video came out, and it would just show Iggy taking a picture with somebody, like, across the room, Mm -hmm. and then Bad Baby throwing her drink on, uh, which obviously couldn't have been no liquor or anything. It had to be, like, water. A Capri Sun Um, or some shit. Like, Like, (laughs) yeah. Remember the little juices that you had to, like, with the foil at the top? The jammers? Yeah, maybe it was one of those that they just poured into a cup for her or something to make it look like you know, she set it up for somebody to record it. Obviously, she told somebody who, you know, that she was going to do it, probably. Yeah, maybe, but at the same time, she kind of like lied. So I don't know if she knew that the video would come out because mm-hmm. you look stupid saying that she came up to you and tried to be your friend and then you threw the drink on her when she's obviously across the room taking a, fi- a picture, yeah. like not even facing you. <laughs> so it was stupid. And Iggy, in my opinion, reacted appropriately and she just had her kicked out the party. Yeah, because Complex tried to, like, the, at least the way the article was written on Complex. They're kind of making it seem well. It's not that hard to restrain yourself from finding a child anyway, and then they were just shading the fuck out of Iggy, even though she handled this situation appropriately. Even when she responded on social media, I she think wrote people a, just have a problem with Iggy <coughs> they in do. general, just because she's like this mm-hmm. this white girl that has the body of a black woman and thinks that she can be a rap. Is it yeah. real? No, no, it's Hell not no. Real. And in her accent, she got a. She's not even. She's from, from Australia. Yeah. yeah. 
But I mean, I don't necessarily. I'm not a big fan of hers, but I also don't have a problem with her. Yeah. But I mean, yeah, like I mean, at different. the end of the day, anybody would have you know, reacted the same way unless they would have just hit the girl. But like, she's a kid, so I'm like, no matter what, you gonna be in the wrong. Legally yeah, exactly. And morally, you know. So like to say, Iggy was because I even re- I was reading some more on Complex, and they just retweeted or reposted what she posted on Instagram, just explaining the situation, basically saying how she's not about to fight with a kid. Hope she grows right. up. Blah blah blah. And they're like, oh, that was entire too long of a response but whatever you're just doing little shady shit like that i'm like how can you expect her not to say anything yeah after getting a drink thrown on her by some badass kid yeah Yeah. and she she was like oh well it happened i got her removed and i left with a check like i planned on doing so i was just like well shoot i would have showed up for a check too so i just think that this girl just goes around looking for trouble like he really ain't did nothing to nobody (laughs) she got cheated on by nick which she's one of the few white women that i don't know who can secure a black guy like you done lost this man and like he cheated on you like all the way like you was a kardashian or something like Mm. it was kind of like dang and then if you notice in the video too, after she threw the drink, she ran right behind her security. Yeah. Yeah. Like the the, the, the article was saying she got pulled away. Nah, she ran right behind the security yeah. instantly. It's like, don't throw a stone and hide your hand. Yeah. I mean, you know? this girl is somebody who's used to just talking back to her mama. She ain't really used to fighting like real people. So, yeah. I mean, like if nothing, she's just digging an early grave for her career. Well, no, nah, she's just an actor because when she came on Maury, you know, that's what, uh, or is it Dr. Phil? Dr. Dr. Phil. Dr. Phil. You know, I always think about when they 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 shoot the film, like basically the setup <laughs> film, uh, they display for the audience to see how bad they are. Uh-huh. It's all it, it's all yeah, plotted. like it's cameramen yeah, at the yeah. House and stuff. Like, you know, they tell him what to say. Tell your mom say, "Cash me outside." Cash me outside. I don't think they told her to say, "Cash me outside." Yeah, I don't think. They yeah, I think that was completely natural, mm. and they just embraced it. They ran with it. I think that was natural. Yeah. I mean, really, that's the phrase that black people been saying. Yeah, they've been. But it you, was just like this white girl who claims she hood and all this is saying it on, on TV. You know how it century. is. It's just like when dances come out, all right? Obviously, our people, black people, kill these fucking dances and yeah. shit. But every time you get a white girl that has just a little bit of rhythm, that shit go mad yeah, viral. I'm so happy white okay. people start dabbing, <laughs> stop dabbing because I was like over seeing them dab. Every dance they get on, it ends up becoming the end. Just like the whole, uh, what's the black boy dance? The, uh, <laughs> shoot. The, oh, the shoot, the shoot yeah. dance. Yeah. 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 Once white people get a hold of it, it's just you know I tried to do that and it did not work out well for me. Cause you really? old, bro. I know it's these knees. Yeah. <laughs> these knees. Uh, yeah. That was a good transition back to the head topic. But anyway, uh, <laughs> anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Moving right hey, along, right along. So, Young Miami. All right, you familiar with y'all? Dad, you familiar with Young Miami from City Girls, right? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't yeah. know them by name. Oh, okay. Either. So it's JT and then Young Miami. No, no yes. but uh, I, I, I just familiarize, familiarize, familiar. I can't even say it. familiar. Okay, so moving on. Right. Uh, <laughs> just say your. Yes, you know her. You just seen her. Just Look, say you just say you just got put on to her. Okay? Yeah, I just got put on. <laughs> and I don't know. Is she single? <laughs> Oh, Probably. Here no. you go. Yeah, mm-hmm. y'all can have some straight ass kids together. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you never know. I think you. I think you gonna end up. I think karma is funny. All right. Right. I think karma is funny. You hate gay people. You're gonna end up getting Wait, a gay she's kid. Gay? No, no, she's not. But let's put, let's roll the clip. Let's roll the clip from uh, an Instagram post from do the you, Breakfast Club do you interview. Glance at the topics we about to talk about. That's a good question. <laughs> Bro, like, you can never know what the fuck is going on. And they want to sit up and tell us all this other shit. Like, all right, the video's playing. The video. The video. Clip. Nigga, Aspie as fuck. Okay. If I saw anything gay in my son, then I would be him. Like, that's the only way I would know. Like, if I saw him and I the same sex, but I, I'm around a lot of gay people all the time. My style is gay. My oh my gay. gosh. Nana, I'm around a lot of black people all the time. About what she I'm just said. I'm around a lot of white people uh, all the time. I just feel like she probably needs to get on, uh, what's that thing called? Reading Rainbow? She need to first read, be able to read above a fifth grade. Alright, so about the, the topic, uh, she's saying that she would beat the gay out of her son if she, if she had a son. <laughs> what do you think? What say you, Nana Man? DJ had to reel you back in. <laughs> I really didn't understand what she said. That's why. I want right, my mama so, and him, and I'll be the gay out of you. So 
All I was right. just trying to figure out was that gumbo? The like answer, I don't know. Nana. Okay. Um <laughs> How do you feel about somebody saying in this day and age that they would beat the the shit out of their kid if they was gay? They're chastising the kid. It's good. It's it's okay. It's okay. Like I, I'm not gonna lie. If, it is. I can't have a gay kid either. I'm Here not it is. gonna lie. I can't. Why can't you? Why just, can't you have a gay not, kid? You know, I just. So I don't, if you I had a kid, if that. you had yeah. a son and your son came to you and was like, "Daddy, I like boys," what would you do? Hmm. I I, 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 I will rebuke it in the name of Jesus. Here we go. I say, Satan, get behind. Put on so that being armor gay of God. Is, so hey. being, <laughs> that's what I thought. The armor of God. <laughs> mm. So you think being gay is of the devil? Uh, let me ask you. How does that feel? No, I'm gonna ask you. I'm gonna you. give my take okay. on it, but there you got the, you got the hot seat. What's up? Okay. <laughs> so right now, I I I, I mean, uh, right now I, I I can't do it. Nah, I I can't have a gay. When kid. can you do it? I I, I, I right now, never, never. I can't. <laughs> so I if your no. son tell you, Dad, I like. I think I like your boys. son in college mm -hmm. and you paying for his whole education. Oh, whoa! And he say, and you and whoa. you come visit him one day, mm -hmm. and all of a I'm sudden you sure see pictures of him and his boyfriend. To, uh, was it Spelman or one of the uh, schools that's all he girls? He can't go to Spelman. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'll make it sure you go to, to all girls. Then, if you gay, then just being uh -huh. surrounded by. Mm -hmm. Wait, why do you say that? If he's gay, you... go to an all girls school. Why do you say so, that? So you be around. I ain't gonna lie, women are. Are you too promoting? Beautiful. Are you promoting rape culture? Are you one of these women to rape your son? No. What? What? No. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. I mean, he's, I'm just saying. He said they need to go to Spelman. Like, what are these women going to do at Spelman that you're like, oh, this will get them get them straight? Nah, he's going to see some very beautiful, uh, marvelous woman, you know. So you're, that's, so I see your approach. Mm -hmm. So you believe in, you're probably the type of dad who will probably get him a stripper or get, get him a personal stripper or an escort or a prostitute and possibly try to turn him out and make him straight. That's what I was getting at. And beat the hell out of him if he thinks about guys. Would you do that? Um, it's close. I won't beat okay. the hell out of him. Okay. But yeah, it's close. But you would do like a, a straight camp. Like a, like a, like a you know, kind of. Yeah, like yeah, I could get, I'll take him to a concentration camp, pretty much. Mm, there yeah. it is. That's the hot take. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> pretty much. Like, but, and, 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 and before we get a dad's, dad's take on it, let me, let, let me get yours. My take yeah, on it. Is. Like, if you have gay kids, let's say a gay son, uh -huh. what are you going to do? And, and let me, let me first tell you what I think you're going to do. Okay. Because with you, you, you know, you're very, you take a pragmatic approach. You're going to be like, well, you're gay. You know, like you, you'll be like, it's is all it? good. Like it is what it is. You know, I love you regardless. You know, I don't know. You probably say you probably got it from your mother's genes because it ain't mine. Wrong. And, okay. <laughs> well, how about we just okay. ask EJ what he was saying? So this is me. I'm gonna keep it real. Like there was a time where I was on that straight homophobic shit. Like I ain't having no gay kids. I'm mm -hmm. a. I thought just like you, mm -hmm. somewhat like you back in the day. All right. <laughs> yeah. But now, the you know, just, but just now, nowadays. No man, I don't. I don't care. Mm -hmm. I don't care about him about my kids being gay. To be honest, I would love to have a gay a gay daughter over a straight daughter. Oh my <laughs> you know, God. So, that's a nice headache off for me. That is still as, homophobic to promote like women on women, but not men on men. Well, I'm saying in so, terms of no fathers. I don't want a daughter just because. Just as a dad, you just can't have a peaceful night of sleep oh, once you, you have a daughter. Oh, you don't want your daughter out here giving that Jill Scott? I'd rather oh, that. I know she. Snap. I don't want to give him that Jill Scott. Whoa. I want to give him that Ellen DeGeneres, okay? <laughs> like, that Ellen D. Mm. All oh, right? So you're going to teach your daughter yeah. how to give it? At least you, you don't have to worry about her dropping out of high school because she's pregnant. <laughs> I mean, but, but, oh, there's a lot of pregnant uh, well, lesbians, though. You know that. Right. Well, yeah, but they, do, yeah. they go through, you know, alternative methods. But basically, how would I handle a gay son, though? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think every parent. I don't. First off, I don't see nothing wrong with what Young Miami said in regards to having a preference for her son not being gay. I don't mm -hmm. think there's nothing wrong with preferring you don't have a gay kid. Yeah. Like I prefer to have kids that I can relate to as much as possible. Like I prefer to have mm -hmm. kids that are, you know, somewhat creative or abstract thinkers. You know, mm -hmm. blah blah blah. I mean, you don't relate to your kid regardless. Yeah. yeah, you know. So I mean, they could be gay and also a dope ass writer or yeah. some shit. You know, or play play soccer. <laughs> yeah. You know. So they gotta be Basically, gay with a talent. Gay with a talent. <laughs> Basically, you're, what I'm saying you're is, okay for your I want to relate to my son, and it's harder for me. Part of no, part of, that's what makes us the problematic safe place. <laughs> but part of I think what you relate to your son is, you look forward to those days you talk to your son about how to talk to a girl, or when he 
gets old or talk to him about pussy or talk to him about mm. warning him about the dangers of light skinned women. How you know, you, how would you? And it's just, oh, you know, wow. Wow. Yes, wow. I said it. That, the dangers of light skinned women. Wow. Okay. We, wow. And then wow. it's yeah. like, make sure you bring that up. And then, and then the problem is, is that I mean, not a problem, but it's like if you have a gay son. It removes it's like a, that aspect away. Now, there's other things I could connect to my son to, of course. I'm not gonna hate him for that. Yeah. But like that being is, an anomaly, being an anomaly. Yeah, you can connect to your son being an anomaly because if he's gay, like obviously he's super different, and you're super different too. So you grew up super different. So even though you might not be gay, <laughs> but your son's gay, y'all both are like super. I'm different. gonna teach him. Don't give a fuck what people think about you. Yeah. And know yourself. Yeah. I don't give a fuck my kid. So bottom line, I don't care if my kid is gay. Just to clear shit up, well, I don't agree with you, Nana, at yeah. all. But let me <laughs> ask you this. Shit. So are you okay with and your son kissing another boy in front of you? Y'all having Thanksgiving, and then he's just showing. Showing uh, PDA affection and then you're like, go son. I'm gonna Good be job. all the way. I'm gonna be all the way real with you, Chief. Okay, huh? it's going like. Good job, son. Like, 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 look here. I get it's 2018, and I'm trying to be more progressive. You know, I'm trying to be more understand. But I did grow up in the 90s. Okay, mm-hmm. there's a lot of shit I got to unlearn. I haven't reached the part just yet. Where I can I can say that I know. Like I can't lie and just say I'm gonna be completely comfortable seeing my my son. Just go tongue, tongue wrestling with another nigga. Good yeah. job. Son. I can't I say love you. I can't say that. I'm just gonna quickly digest that. I but mean, however, to be honest, am I still like, gonna love him? Yes. Am I still gonna support him? Yes. But you know, I even won't. But to be honest, I probably I won't be comfortable with my girl doing that with her boyfriend. Right. I was gonna say mm-hmm. like, yeah, I mean, like, that's kind of like the, just the given in any type of like black or African household. Like you don't show like PDA like that in yeah. front of your elders. Mm, but he he's giving him a kiss, uh, good, uh, like they leave. No, or something. you don't. Yeah. I mean, that's People that's something. Kisses. And, and see, here's yeah, the like thing. It depends. The Is door. it right in front of me, or was it something that I just happened to see? But they, it wasn't. Yeah, it's one thing different. if it, if I was if they did it they deliberately in front other. of me versus they hugging each other and hug you. There's nothing that's wrong with that. Hug. Yeah, nothing mm-hmm. wrong with a hug. Just He's just trying to make <laughs> like, yeah. So in regards to my opinion about this, mm-hmm. I think that. Um, for one, old girl should have PR training because it's, it's obvious that she has had none. You know, she wrote that though um, when she was nineteen, just for clarification. Like, it, like this, that whole conversation about her clearing, like that was her clearing up an old tweet that she had. <laughs> no, yeah, that's fine. But what yeah. I'm saying is her interview this week. Mm-hmm. So, um, with her being on there, obviously they're going to ask about it because that was something that was very controversial, and mm-hmm. a lot of people were talk speaking out against it. Um, I feel like, I mean, at the end of the day, everybody can feel how they feel. Yeah. I mean, I feel like we live in a society where everything is so sensitive. Like, you can't say anything about anything. Like, oh, I don't like the color red. Oh, what's wrong with red? You got a problem with right. red? <laughs> like, and it's like, dang, like, you can have preferences in this world. And exactly. so if she doesn't want her son to be gay, and even if she was going to be her son if, if he was gay, like, that's her own, like, problem and issue w- amongst her family. Like, you know, obviously... We would want the son to then take, mm. you know, somebody to take the proper yeah. steps for her to get in trouble with CPS or whatever, because you yeah. shouldn't be beating no kid like mm. the yeah. way she emphasized that she would beat him. But um, I just think the example she gave about like if you broke your mama glass table, like she not gonna beat you. My mama is absolutely gonna beat me mm-hmm. if I broke her glass table. Mm-hmm. But I'm just saying, like, stand up in your truth. If that's how you really feel, if you Speak if your, your son was <clears throat> actually gay and you felt like I'm gonna beat the shit out of him because mm-hmm. he's gay. Stand up in that. Like, I'm not saying that it's right, but if that's how you feel, like, don't try to sway or say, oh, I got plenty of friends that are gay, blah, blah, blah. Like, try to put a Band-Aid over it. But you can then go and say, but, you know, at the end of the day, I would have to get over it and love my son and it, and it will be what it be. No, I'm not going to prefer for him to be gay, but at the end of the day, if it happens, it happens. I'm just going to have yeah, to deal with it from exactly. there. Exactly. Yeah. That would have been a way better answer than the BS that she gave talking about, I got plenty of people around me that are gay. I don't have any problem with gay people. My best people. friend's gay. Like, you That's know, that the same. Bullshit. We, don't, we don't let my- white people make it when they say, oh, my black friends are gay. I can yeah, say the like, word. Yeah. Like, no, we don't let them make it. So, we're you know, you, we're not going to well, let you make when it When Mo either. Bamba comes out... The whole Penn, uh, whole university, Penn University uh, says the N-word when that song comes. Mo Bamba. Uh-huh. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, Sheck yeah, West. Yeah, yeah Sheck West. Yeah, it oh, makes yeah, me uncomfortable. Yeah, Actually, yeah, yeah. when songs Everybody. like that come on with the N-word and yeah. I know it's coming up, I look around to, yeah. to look at the white people. But what do you do with your outnumbered? Because I remember when that Lil Wayne song, uh, Steady Mobbing, came out. And you know when he starts off with, fuck these niggas, I'm going to spare everything but these niggas. Yeah. When there's only like... 
like maybe 20 of y'all in a club full of 100 white people or so. Well, what everybody chat fuck these dicks. What can you do? Well, I don't do <laughs> whether I'm outnumbered or whether it's two of them. I don't do anything, but I definitely give that look like try to make eye contact like I saw yeah. you, nigga. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I seen you. <laughs> but back to like I seen it. But, but yeah, I did so want like, to ask you a question, Des. So, no. since oh, no. you said that you wouldn't um you you okay if your 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 kid is gay? I didn't answer that at all. I said that my young Miami should have gave that answer yeah. but what was your question my question is <laughs> would you be would you beat uh the mess out of your son if he comes out short because it seems like you have a lot of animosity <laughs> towards short brothers and no. like i feel like it won't be his fault but if he's short what would you do i'm not gonna beat the mess out of any of my kids for anything that they do what if they, they're short do you believe what in whoopings is? I believe in whoopings, but it's also, it's based on your kid. Like me, like I said before, I I've only gotten like a handful <clears throat> of whoopings my whole life growing up. See. Whereas like other, my siblings, you know, got whoopings and it didn't, it made everything worse. Like yeah. it didn't make it better for them. Mm-hmm. So I believe as far as disciplinary action, like it depends on the kid and what they respond to. So I what agree would with you, you do if your son is short? My son would be short. Mm-hmm. What would you do? What What is there to do? Mm-hmm. Because it seems like you have like an uncovered animosity now, towards me. Listen, towards you you are out of my dating pool option. Just accept <laughs> that. <laughs> accept that and move on. Like there's nothing further for us to discuss. There's nothing there's no scientific mm. answer or explanation for it. Mm. There's no pill that you can take to increase your height to mm. put you back in my dating pool. You are hey, out. So just leave it at don't that. Don't block your blessing now. It's done, I, Nana. Listen, mm. anything <laughs> what's for you is for you. So if mm. I'm forty and it just happened to be for me. I'm just going to still ignore it. So. <laughs> but yo, back to this ass whooping thing. I think it relates to the young Miami because she was saying she used that analogy for beating uh, her mama. For, for, for breaking the table. For yeah. breaking the table and getting her ass whooped, right? I think a lot of times in society when people make comments like young Miami, we want to punish them and beat them basically or punish them. Not literally beat them, but we yeah, want to punish them. them down. And the thing is, the problem, and she's a clear example of is we need more education. We need more conversation about this, okay? Because right. the way she's grow- she grew up, we want to act all high and mighty and PC now. But I think everybody black has heard somebody like Young Miami talk the way that she has. We yeah. have heard shit like this growing up. And it's just mm-hmm. until now, in this period of time, we're becoming more socially aware and have, and, beca- and becoming more liberal and open in our ideas. And you know, right? But I think if, if she, we need to, ha- she needs to have a conversation with somebody to understand why she feels this way and why I it's actually, ridiculous way of thinking. I actually think the whole conversation in general and the backlash that she was getting for everything was ridiculous. And and in my opinion, it shouldn't have even been ans- asked in the interview. Of course, it makes it should have been asked in the interview. Well, because it was like in, in a perfect world, I think it shouldn't have been asked because I think it should have never been an issue because we're all talking about a hypothetical situation. She does not actually have a gay son. So who who cares? Well, but she was right. And the thing is, I, I hear what you're saying, but I mean, it is an opinion. But the thing is, she wrote that tweet when she was 19 years old, too. Right. You know, she wrote it when she was 19 years old in 2013, back when, like, it's totally different. Than, you know, mm. the climate was different then than it is now. It's different. And then it's I'm like, just, are we always going to, like, persecute everybody for everything they did years ago? Like, I mean, you. like, you don't wake up and be famous, like, as soon as you're, like, birthed out of your mom's vagina. Like, uh, eventually, you yeah, you are Smith, a regular person. Yeah. Yeah. And then there's something. There's a lot of famous people who just wake up and make. Okay, uh, but there's Punisher, a lot of people. Jaden Smith. Speaking uh, of Jaden, should Will beat Jaden? Because claiming yeah. that Tyler the Creator. His boyfriend, love wins at the end of the day. Yeah, he, <laughs> he wasn't did. serious. Yeah. No, he, he wasn't. was. I, he was you... not serious because he said he's been my birth, my boyfriend since birth. So you mean to tell me they've been like messing around the since, of happiness since he was a baby? I don't, know. <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm just waiting till all these guys come out because some of these rappers, man. We're, we're waiting on you too. So I think uh, most of them are. I think most of them are gay. I think, and there's yeah. no wrong with that. I just yeah. want to meet the first. I think Young Thug might be the closest one, but I want to see the first like just thug Major out rapper, rapper. Mm-hmm. like well, mainstream, no, 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 like no. talk that hard <laughs> gangster shit. Young Thug on, is like, not the closest one because he is definitely questionable. Uh-huh. I, it would be something like if the game came out and was gay. Like yeah. he would be the idea of like the rapper that's about that life that is very well, masculine. That I want to th- I want to listen to a thug rapper who could give that Tyson energy, talking about I'll fuck you in your ass. You. Maggot, you yeah, give listen that, to that? I, I want somebody to talk that same so hard go, energy, yeah. oh but from respect. Because, like, think about it, a guy like Tyson. You're not gonna call him a maggot. You're not gonna. You're not gonna <laughs> pop off. It's like that, that shit is terrifying. So a nigga you want like somebody Tyson to drop an EP talking mad, talking mess. mad gay <laughs> shit. 
Yeah. But in like in the but but be certified in these streets. Honestly, that shit would be dope. Probably, you could probably <laughs> there is somebody doing like that. Omar on the wire. Like Young Omar was. Uh, Young and May? Mm. Yeah. Young and May got it. Yeah. Young and May got it. She out here doing it. Young and May got it. But she's a girl. We talking about, I guess he's in regard to We're talking gender. about gay. We're not going to discriminate. We're talking about gay. Yeah. I just get cut off all the time. I'm just saying, you try to discriminate, try to take away her title. I listen to, I, like, randomly, I have my music on shuffle, and I, look, I heard some song she had, and I was just like, man, I feel her. Yeah. She was talking about Heartbreak by a Girl, and I was just like, hey. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I don't listen and she, to her. She's also a huge misogynist when you look at her lyrics. To my own, call her Stephanie, I call her Head for Me. Young and Amazing is a misogynist. I mean, but that's kind of rap in general. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. But uh, but final things I want to say about what's her name, young young Miami though. Was she absolutely wrong in what she said? Yeah, obviously. Okay, she was absolutely. It was homophobic. But I don't think I don't think she deserved. I mean, you could I have. Think, she I could think deserve the backlash. I'm okay with the backlash. You can yeah. have the problem with what she said, definitely. But I don't think it should have any reper- repercussions on her career. I think she, people should be more willing. People that are offended in the gay community, you should be more. I, I would like y'all to open up that dialogue with. Young uh, with young Miami, I almost called her Young and May with Miami, because mm. I really don't think she she's just going by what she was taught, what she was conditioned. Right. Yeah, like most of us were. I mean, I don't even I don't think it's anything to worry about because yeah. it's a it's a hypothetical situation. I would be concerned if her son was actually gay. You say that into that, but I think it's something to worry about if the OVO checks stop clearing. I mean, right, yeah, for that. her, as far as like putting <laughs> food on her OVO? table. No, but you know, with the the song, uh, the Kiki dance, yeah. well, the in my feelings. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so she get royalty to that song? If she should, I imagine. I'd be surprised if they didn't. Yeah, they were wow. sampled. Yeah. In the video. I'm, I'm just saying, if that. that's the case, we can yeah. persecute a lot of celebrities off of hypotheticals. They do. Like so, yeah. it's, it's just irrelevant. Like until she has a gay son, we have nothing to be concerned about. Like who cares what her opinion is, is right she now? Single. I, nigga, why is you asking me? I'm just asking huh? for a friend. You better get mm-hmm. to Googling. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. She might be a little bit too rough for me. Y'all got the um, same opinions on gay kids. So I think it would, mm-hmm. you know, it they say somebody was equally yoked. I believe <laughs> right. in that. Yeah. I believe in that. You can't have one smart person, one <laughs> dumb person. You can't have one. Yeah. I, I, I totally agree with equally yoked. Yeah. All right. Yo. Now that the, was major shame. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> he didn't even oh, get it, bro. God. Oh my god. Yeah. He's just like, oh let's, yeah, let's equally get, yoked. Yeah. Let's get into this CB news, okay? For those who don't know, this the, like, this CB stands for Cave Bitch. All right. <laughs> so this, is our, this is our Cave Bitch I segment. About Chris Brown. Oh no, not Chris Brown. Shout out Chris Breezy. Now we're talking about <laughs> these cave bitches who are out here <laughs> wilding, okay? So you have a professor in Texas, professor in Texas who called the cops on this student, <laughs> a, a young black female student for putting her feet up on the, uh, on, on the desk. Wasn't it a male teacher? Yeah. No, nah, it was a female. female. Oh, it, was female. it was a female. white female okay. teacher. Hey, you know what? Let me, read, let me read a little bit of the article just to give you all a little bit, right? Now it says, blah, blah, blah. The educator identified by the university in a statement biology as Professor Anita Mo- Hold up, biology. So... That here we see the escort. We see the police getting es- uh, escort. Well, coming in. Yeah. Now y'all remember I called this last week. Remember when I said when those two black girls were whooping that teacher's ass? I said, what if she was a biology Becky? I think I predicted this shit, yo. Biology Becky is here. Okay, this is biology Becky. You foresight it. You did see that. I did. I that. Okay. You're like that so Raven, but you're just a uh, guy version. <laughs> Very insightful. So yeah. <laughs> All right. So Anita Moss led university police. <laughs> I can't do it with y'all, with y'all niggas, right? Led university police to the student Monday during her anatomy and physiology one class and watched as the student was escorted out. The event prompted two investigations, which concluded Wednesday night and found that, quote, racial bias was not a factor in the incident. Okay. I highly disagree with that. They found it wasn't? It was not. Hmm. Regardless, calling the cops, it, you know what? Maybe racial bias wasn't. I feel like... But calling the cops, I don't think she would have did that with a that's white That's a chain. far I too extreme. I still firmly believe yeah. that these police officers out here need to be given uh, invoices to people that call the police for no reason. Absolutely. Because these are tax dollars that had them show up to a, a class and escort somebody out for putting their feet up uh-huh. on a chair that the teacher didn't own. Yeah. Like they weren't damaging the chair. Biology Becky should have definitely got fined for this shit. Um, but she did get. Um, they are investigating it. Like the school itself she was suspended. 
Yeah, she got suspended. Yeah. So at least that happened. But I just look at it like, you know, a form of free tuition. As a college hey. student, I remember walking very slowly across the streets as cars were coming. And mm-hmm. I just was like, you know, hit me if you want to. I need this this cash flow, you know. Yeah. Oh, really? So interesting. Yeah, as a co- hey, it's yeah. hard out here as a college yeah, student. Nobody ever, hard, nobody ever nobody ever hit that me hard with that car. Me, <laughs> nah, nah. I mean, they weren't even that hard for me, but it's just like free tuition, like no student loans. Like, what you mean? So I feel Bird like if I was shit, that man. if yeah. I was that girl, I'd definitely be <laughs> lawyering up prepared to sue. Oh, mm. this should definitely be a case. Absolutely. Yeah. Litigation. Yeah, Nana, yeah. What, man, what's your thoughts? Um, honestly, most of the time I don't have thoughts, but yeah, I'm just kind of free, free thinking. That's the most honest thing you have said <laughs> all podcasts, nigga. That is the most honest. This is a breakthrough. Go on, Nana. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. You got it. Man. Oh you got my it, kid. god! All right. So, in in my opinion. <laughs> That just, you know, it just brings about worry oh, because he has no thoughts. Uh. What is he finishing? He said he has no thoughts. The thought was over. Um, so I just think of, you know, for me, if a professor is willing to kick out a student for putting their feet up on the chair, I just think of all the other times that the professor wasn't willing to help a student, you know, mm-hmm. uh, because it, it seems like they had to have some type of prejudice against this student or feel some type of way, or maybe they were just having a bad day and was just like, I'm going to just take the smallest thing and take it all away. Either way, like if that's how you react to something so small, mm-hmm. I, I just see that this professor probably wasn't a help to anybody else who's ever had that class, you yeah. know? Like they probably, you know, were trying to come and ask questions after after class and weren't getting help. And I'm just so, curious how they, uh, how, how they were able to rule out racial bias. Because I mean, most of our classrooms yeah. have racial bias. Like the white kids... And the, you know you have a group of white kids goofing off, white boys goofing off, you know mm-hmm. talking loud, talking shit to each other, playing. They get a warning, whereas the black kids, it's an automatic write up, you know, or right. some shit. Mm-hmm. That's a racial bias. So I'm wondering yeah. how would they rule? How can they? How can they be so sure? I'm just wondering how that phone call to the police went because, like, our, our police, <laughs> like, mm-hmm. in all seriousness, like, if you call the police for just anything, are they obligated to come out? Because I feel like there should be some instances where they say, well, no, we're not, police. we're not coming out for it. I, it doesn't police, matter. Yeah. Like, to me, if I got a call that said a student is being disruptive and I said, okay, how are they being disruptive? Oh, they're putting their feet up on a chair. She probably didn't even give a reason. She was probably, probably like, she's probably like just, just come here. Just come here. Like, honestly, yeah. I feel like, you know, in addition to being suspended, that teacher need to be fine because yeah. you, you just wasted campus police time. You did. Yeah. You wasted resources. Like, money goes to these people's salary. You just wasted an hour of their day, at least, because they had to drive and show up, escort the student out, write up a report about mm-hmm. everything. So you need to be fined what they spent in resources. The the most most threat to me is a pessimistic white woman. You know, to hear that on the phone, like a white woman crying. Is, is the biggest threat for me, you know. That's how I, I get see. what you're saying. It's, it, it's it's. I don't think that was the right word. No, it's not. But yeah, <laughs> most of the words aren't right. Yeah. So okay. what you, but yeah, but it's basically okay. what you're saying is the most dangerous situation to be in is a mm-hmm. white, is near a white woman with tears, is mm-hmm. a black is man, an upset yeah. white woman. Yes. Yeah. I, yes, yeah. I, I I agree with you. Yeah, I don't want to be nowhere. But if she was it. on the phone crying about this, then she got other issues. The point is that they were wrong for this. I'm glad that she got suspended, and they need to look. I will open back up that investigation. If I was that student, I'd but definitely be looking at lawyers with pay or without pay. That's well, the question. Man, you need to take a little cave bitch tax out of it, you know. Yeah, I mean, well, they always spend with pay, pay at mm-hmm. first, and then they, you know, if they find whatever is, you know, whatever negative issue, then evidence, they'll then, then they'll mm-hmm. fire them gotcha. without pay, obviously. Gotcha. But. Yeah. I mean, because that's something they can, you know, then that teacher could sue over that if she automatically got fined without, you know, spending without pay. Yeah. Without the investigation going on or any real, like, she didn't put her hands on nobody. So, like, they have to have a valid reason to actually take away pay. Mm. I like to shake my head to make it seem like I'm very... All right, so... <laughs> like, I like to shake my head to make it seem like I'm very uh, intelligent. Is it working? So, for our audience, we actually, <laughs> we had a conversation with Nana about um, just being on the podcast and being I'm, himself. I'm there. And who he is. And obviously, you know, that was after our last show. So now Mm -hmm. with today being the first show back since that conversation, I realized that he's just a shell. He's just a shell. He said on here that he has no thoughts. He hasn't read the outline. I did. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Good Lord. Mm -hmm. Like, is everything okay? Yes, a lot. I really want to talk about Jamal Khashoggi. Okay, and what's going on in Saudi Arabia? This has okay? nothing. Re this is nothing relevant to what we're talking about. <laughs> it's this is why affect I asked you. This is why no, I asked no. you. Let's let's let them, let them <laughs> yeah. let's, let's, let's go, guys. Let's go. Hey, America, <laughs> yeah, don't wake say up! That on air. <laughs> what's going on? I really didn't want to talk about it, but the CIA finally confirmed that uh, the prince of Saudi Arabia did. Order orders for Jamal Khashoggi to be murdered. Okay, all right. Jam for people who don't know, Jamal Khashoggi it was a, a reporter, a writer for the Wall Street journalists over here in America. All right, uh, he had dual citizenship in Saudi Arabia, but he would uh, speak bad about the government. Okay, you can't do that, you know. And uh, you know when he went to Turkey because he was about to get married to his wife or his fiance at the time. She's from Turkey, by the way. Um, he went to Istanbul consulate in uh, the Saudi Arabia consulate in Istanbul. Okay. Not more than five minutes, he, he disappeared. Less than five minutes, he walked in there because he needed to get some papers from Saudi Arabia so he can get married to his fiance at the time, all right? He never came back, and he was missing for two weeks. Mm -hmm. And then when, you know, investigators were probing Saudi Arabia, they're like, oh, I, I don't know. I don't know nothing about that. And then after further investigation, and Turkey already assumed, like, hey, they killed this guy. You know, after further investigation, they found out they had surveillances of people, uh, a, a phony person in his clothes walking out the consulate. All right. And then the Saudi Arabia prince always denied it and be like, nah, we don't know where he's at. And then finally, after a month, OK, of finding and searching, uh, they finally came out. It's like, OK, this guy accidentally, accidentally died in a fight there. He's over here trying to get his papers so he can ma marry his wife, and he accidentally died. Why is so, so this important? Was like somebody from the U.S. <clears throat> yes, he, he, he has dual and citizenship. And so our CIA is saying that they finally confirmed that Saudi Arabia killed him. Basically. Well, it, well, we knew Saudi Arabia killed him, right? But we I didn't don't believe know nothing our government say anyway. But, but we didn't know who 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 gave the orders if the prince was behind it because he 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 didn't he he. And then assume responsibility. He said he had nothing to do with it. Why it's so important is we're big partners with Saudi Arabia. First of all, crude oil, okay, and then weapons. They buy. It's a billion dollar industry when they buy weapons from us, okay. And they're really good friends with Trump, our president. We have a good relationship with them, especially Trump. All right, Trump and the prince have a lot of relationship. What that's going to force us to do is is going to force us to um, what's called create sanctions for them all right and turkey is going to benefit from that because turkey we i'm I positive mean, now yeah turkey we didn't really have a good relationship with turkey and we needed saudi arabia <laughs> to to kind of mend the relationship with iran control iran what's going on in iran and all that stuff we need saudi arabia to do that now it's like okay now we're going to have to force sanctions on them. We're going to lose so much money in, in the weapon industry. What do you mean industry. by sanctions? Sanctions. So um, basically, we're going to have to... Sanctions are like repercussions you okay. know, for the action. They're going to be held responsible okay, for the actions. It's specifically the prince. You know, so it's the he he ordered it. At first, they were going to... They had captured some of the people... I mean, uh, okay, so what is... Why is this reporter important? Like, did he know some information about something or... Because he had dual citizenship, pretty much. He, I mean, did they they just killed him because he had dual citizenship? Well, no, because he he, he basically was like he was like a was pain he a spy? to the, no was no he no a no. Part he, of CIA? no Why does he CIA was a journalist, care? so he a writer. He was American. He had dual citizenship. He's American, and then he would write it. And then he was part of a big journalist over here in America, and he write against. I mean, so they just killed him because he was American? No. Well, he always had like a a. He always wrote against the uh, went against the Saudi Arabia government. He'll talk okay. about how bad they are. They're not good. Gotcha. Okay, that's. And they didn't reason. make him look good. So you know, when they had the opportunity, they knew he was coming to Istanbul and and the Saudi Arabian consulate. They're like, okay, let's dismember this guy. They didn't just accidentally fight the guy. They still haven't produced a body. They dismembered the guy. Mm -hmm. 
That's that's some really killer stuff. So now <laughs> you talk about the the we're talking about not only America's getting involved, but the 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 UN, the United Nations. We got to get involved in the United Nations because if they can just do that to anybody, you know, what would different foreigners come to the country? You know, now we see what Saudi Arabia is going down, and now it magnified. But Saudi Arabia, we got a good partnership. Crude oil, first of all, we get a lot of oil from them. Mm -hmm. And then they buy a lot of weapons from us. We manufacture a lot of money. We're talking about big corporations like Lockheed Martin. We're talking about big corporations like Raytheon, like big money, money. And Trump has a hand in it, too. You know, so it's like it's forcing him to cock sanction. He really don't want to do that because it's going to mess up his money flow. You see what I'm saying? It's going to mess up our money flow. So it's going to be very interesting to kind of see what transpired after this information has just came out. And once again, the CIA just confirmed this yesterday. I already knew. I already knew, you know, what it was. But now that we know that the, the prince of Saudi Arabia gave the orders to go ahead and murder and dismember Jamal Khashoggi, rest in peace. You know why I don't like pay attention to stuff like that is because I'm definitely like a conspiracy theorist. Mm -hmm. So like all this stuff just be like minor shit in comparison to like the big picture of what I believe is going on. So that's why I'm like it's like the minor details, you know. Mm -hmm. Well, it's gonna it's gonna affect us in the long run. You know, right now gas is real cheap, but you know if we do sanctions on them, what, what's gonna happen? Everything affects us in the long run. So it's it's a bigger picture. Yeah. Like that's why. Like that's why for me, I'm that person that believes that there's like people in power, not the Illuminati, that yeah. are trying to control the world and the money and the mm -hmm. banks. And that's why everything happens because they're trying to like set stuff up for people to go to war over stuff, and it looked like it's going to war over this, but really it, they just found any reason so that they could it try to control the, the government in yeah. a different country. Yeah, it, it, that's why I don't really believe mm -hmm. in. Well, I mean, not that you can't believe in the military because they obviously exist, but I've never been like an advocate for military or anything of that sort. It's necessary, you know. Yeah, the, for protection 100%. of our border, you know. Right now, um, <laughs> well, I just don't like believe in like supporting the country, like fighting for the country because you really like not you know, fighting for what you think you're fighting for. You know, do you, you feel like you're patriotic? Nah. No, nah. you just you're just here because it's America and you were born here. Right. This is one of the best countries to be raised. Okay. In. I, I I'm I'm definitely a firm believer of that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Know. I'm not saying that it's mm -hmm. not. I just don't yeah. have those conversations with people because it's like to each his own. Yeah. Yeah. But I I I the only reason I brought it up on a podcast, guys, we gotta we gotta open our eyes because it's gonna directly affect us. You know. In our economy, what are we going to do? And they were even talking about the members that were caught in the act of killing the guy. They were going to go ahead and get them the death penalty. So now that we know that the um, uh, the prince corroborated with the, the killing of Jamal Khashoggi, what's going to happen to him? Is this going to cause war? What's, what's the relationship with Turkey and Saudi Arabia? You know, so man, I just, I'm just wait happy for to peace know that there's the something East. going on up there. So, <laughs> yeah, you're very fascinating. Mm. Stay woke, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like, a lot of people be people, saying stay woke, but they're not woke. People don't know, but like you, they're not you, woke. You've That's answered not my, my question. Mm. They're not woke. <laughs> Y'all stay hey, woke. Yo. Uh, shit, what are we gonna talk? Oh yeah, the mm. take one. Song. And then can you introduce a song of the week? Uh oh, song of the week. Wow, you have a song of the week? Look at you. I'm just doing it big I'm today. To out where You're it's a big at. boy today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's on the outline. Oh. Okay. Okay, Kodak one. What? Oh, oh, Kodak, Kodak what? Black. <laughs> Kodak Black, man. Kodak Black, um, he been dropping little stuff here and there since he's been out of jail. Nothing nothing really major, but this new project that he just dropped, this one little song, Take One, it's like he's directly speaking to somebody. Like, what is he? Who is he talking? Like, I feel like he's dissing somebody. Well, and people think he's dissing 6 9 People think he's dissing Takashi. You know, we're going to talk a little bit about that Breakfast Club interview, mm. too. But, uh, I really do. I haven't heard the song yet, mm -hmm. but I don't think I don't think Kodak is really the sneak dissing type. Yeah. I don't think he has the I, I, he's mental he's, capacity. Not really mental capacity. <clears throat> like, 
He's really a what you see is what you get type of nigga. He's the same one that was like, I don't want no black bitch or a bitch that's blacker than yeah. me. You know, and it's clear like when you really listen to him, you understand he's not saying he don't like black women. He's saying that he doesn't like dark skinned women. He's using the word black for dark. But and then he also said he made a he did a freestyle and he was like, I don't even listen to Uzi. Nigga take dig in the buoy. You know, so he clearly has demonstrated a nigga with no PR training. Is, is that gay? does it? Huh? Has that ever been confirmed if Uzi is gay or not? Come on, no, it has not been confirmed. He's but... he's another young thug. Yeah, okay, he's another young yeah. thug. He kind of fell off. Wasn't he supposed to drop a new album? Lil Uzi? Yeah. And then that yeah. dance craze came yeah. out Uzi, with the shoulder. Yeah. Ubi, Uzi like is that. fabulous yeah. as a motherfucker. Don't, yeah. get, don't get it fucked up. Yeah. All right. He's definitely the representative of a yeah, carefree man, black merce. girl. He like the, the RuPaul of the rap game. <laughs> no, nah, that's young thug. That's thug all the uh -huh. way. If there is a RuPaul, RuPaul. rap, that's thug. Oh my God. But uh, let's play it. Let's play So basically, yeah, I say all that to say I don't think Kodak is the sneak dissing type. I, I think if he had a problem with Takashi, he would say his name straight up. Mm -hmm. But yeah, let's listen to the song. Yeah, and it's, and it's called Take One by Kodak Black. At first, I thought he was talking about the Kit Kat bar, but I guess it's just a song. Let's give me a break. Yeah, I ain't doing it on Twitter. I'll be, uh, I feel this. You ain't listened to it yet? I already like it. Man, you so fake. <laughs> yeah. Oh, let's turn it up a little bit. That nigga dissing on the ground, but I ain't say nothing. I ain't tripping. I'ma get on when that day come. I'm on hustle. Wait, wait, was that it? Pause it. Pause it. Was that it? Talking about he, uh, some nigga on the gram dissing. He going. Was it uh, six nine like with his baby mama or like his ex girlfriend or somebody? Not, not Kodak. I don't think not <laughs> Kodak. He was with uh, Trippy. You're probably getting confused with Trippy right But he's been with uh, a couple of people, like yeah, ex-girlfriends and stuff, Keys. so I just can't remember. Okay. But I didn't know if he did anything with Kodak. <sighs> I don't know. Okay, well, let's, let's, yeah, yeah, let's finish the list some more. But I'm gonna take one. That puts a bite in, so I put it, get a lay done. That nigga dissing on the ground, but I ain't saying nothing. And I ain't tripping, I'm gonna get him on that day come. Okay. I'm gonna lay on the butter for about eight months. If I whack on that, everybody gonna say something. Come on, babe. I'm trying to cut deuces, I don't tolerate none. Okay. He tried to pull up to the corner, but he can't come. Yeah, we yeah. ran down a fool of hill, we ain't stuck. Okay. He been trying to the media, he can't stuck. This might be about six nine. I ain't even think about a rain or something. That pussy by and make a nigga wanna sing a song. The cracker fucked up and then put the bracelet on. Look, so I'm sliding in the Tahoe with a ray gun. I'm giving the money I ain't need, gotta pay for it. That pussy so good, I give everything yeah. you want. I'm on hustle, but I'm gonna take one. That pussy bite, so I paid to get a lace done. That nigga dissing on the ground, but I ain't say nothing. I ain't tripping, I'm gonna get on what that day come. I'm on hustle, but I'm gonna take one. Okay. Okay. I'll cut it right here. Yeah. I, I fucks with it. I like when Kodak is on this type of vibe. Yeah, this ain't it. it. This ain't it. <laughs> it, it, ain't, how? it ain't it. Cause like at Bro, first you, you listen like, to, Ooh, but the thing is, it, so honestly, fake. I'm about to fall asleep. Yeah. What, let's listen. listen to. There's another artist. Uh, I like Diggy's new uh album. No, no we're not playing no Diggy? fucking Diggy Simmons. Diggy. Fuck <laughs> yeah. I thought it was nice. We are not playing no goddamn Diggy Simmons. Do you listen to his album? Yeah, I've listened to the nigga's album. But you're not gonna play. It. He's, it's not good. Wait, you really did listen to it? <laughs> I did the first album. When he, no, 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 Diggy. Oh, oh. Uh, Jedi, can we play Diggy? No, D I G G Y. Mm -hmm. And uh, let's play Anchors. Yeah, no, let's nope. talk about nope. this. Let's, track. Let's, why, why didn't you like it? it, it you should have brought that to the table. It's <laughs> song of the week. You brought this one yeah. to the table. So, so why, like, why don't you like? I was the song? force fed. Um. Anyways, I like take one. Like at first, I'm like from Kodak. Like is it because of your homophobicness? No. Okay. Uh, he gave us tunnel vision. He gave us ro rolling peace. You know, he yeah. gave us some good hits, good singles. Now I'm trying to see what's the. I don't next think he released this as like a a club yeah, song I don't think or anything to be a single. Mm -hmm. But yeah. I think it's a dope track. I like. I'm I'm glad they actually hear him rap. You know, before it seemed like after, because I liked him when I heard like the old song "Skirt" that era. Skirt, skirt. Yeah. yeah, I liked him on that vibe, and then it seemed like he just got so hooked on drugs or some shit. Like you could hear but, it in his music. But he was hooked on drugs on that one. But too. I mean, like it seemed like it was overtaking the talent. Like I, like everything I heard Kodak spitting for the last minute, you know, last few months has been trash. It's up until now. I actually really? like this song. I think you like it because it was directed towards, or you have a theory is directed towards a, a specific. I'm off for the beef. I like yeah. the beef. Now, do you I like think this that. Is a, do I think this was a hard hitting diss song? No, but I, but I, I actually didn't mind it. I, I like the song, 
It's not a hard hitting diss track. It's no hit him up by Biggie. Not, I mean, Tupac. Mm -hmm. No shit like that. Yeah. But hey, I want I want to see more come from this. I don't think Six Nine is going to respond seriously though. I think he's just going to troll. I don't think he's dissing at Six yeah. Nine. Yeah. Um, I thought he. I don't know. I think they're I don't good know friends. who he's dissing. I actually didn't like Kodak Black at all. Uh huh. Mm. Because I barely can stand a look at him. But <laughs> he's become one of my, you know, the person that I can kind of tolerate because especially when he went viral off of saying, like, listen, if I slide in your DMs, like, mm -hmm. don't think anything of it. Like, I be in everybody's DMs. I be just trying to see what's up. <laughs> That's the thing. Like, he's so honest mm -hmm. to a fault. Like, he's so honest, which makes me not believe that he sneak dissing. I don't think he's capable of sneak dissing. He probably talking about somebody or a group of people in general. I don't think he's calling yeah. any specific person out. Yeah. And he's Haitian, too, because they don't sneak this. They'll just shoot you. Well, he's mm. on house yeah. arrest, so. <laughs> yeah. Might be a little difficult right now. But hey, I fucks yeah. with it. I hope I hope some good smoke can come from this. Mm. Shake the game up. I'm can tired we listen of about to Diggy? Cardi Can we just listen to... We're not to listening to no fucking Diggy, <sighs> bro. <laughs> but uh, this is what I do want to listen to, though. <laughs> I want to listen to y'all's story. Oh, before we get there. Did y'all see the interview, Takashi 6 9 on Breakfast Club? Yeah, I've yes. seen some of it, yeah. What y'all think? Man, I love this guy. Like, I, I feel like he's very intentional about his actions, and he knows the weight of his influence, How it, and he knows how to carry himself, and he knows how to do an interview. I agree he knows with you how 100%. He knows you engaged the Dan's whole time. Dan's over here shaking her head. I agree with you, Nana. <clears throat> yeah. 100%. Because Dan's is not even engaged in this conversation. She's on Instagram. I am engaged in this conversation. No. I just seen you on Instagram, just like it. Because I can multitask. I know it's very hard for you, but mm -hmm. I've I'm got it mastered. A little, a little vibe right here. Mm -hmm. Not, what, what's going on? Hmm? Between mm -hmm. me and Des? He just can't mind his business. Like, let me read my DMs. You be reading yours. Let me read mine. Anyways, his interview, I don't think he sounded Honestly, intelligent get, at all. If you look at a lot of the, the, and I'm sorry to interrupt you, but if you look at the, a lot of the, the, if you go back and re watch the podcast, you 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 keep on like you tune me out a lot. Like I thought we were friends. Do you feel like how did you is, is, is stealing your voice? You can't be heard. No, it's just that because I was gonna you, say that's so bitch made if you did. No. Okay, they got. <laughs> I just, I think like you just, you just tune me out, like and just. How did I tune you out? You just tried to throw me under the bus and say I wasn't paying attention to the conversation. When but I was. you weren't. I was. You, you were talking about six nine. You said that he was like, oh, I like him. He sounds very intelligent. I was shaking my head. EJ acknowledged that I shook my head, mm -hmm. and then you're like, De he said Dez over here shaking her head. So like, why do you think like that about him? And then you're like, she's not even engaged in the conversation. I heard the whole thing, and I just recanted it to you. <laughs> I was gonna zoom in on Dana's face. Hmm? <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying, like, so how do you feel like I be tuning you out when I but was if, listening I, I, to you? Honestly, I was letting if you, you go talk. to previous uh, shows, like you, 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 you always give the role. You know what eye. this is? You know what this is? What? It's the short man complex. No, far mm. from it. I don't have a short man. Complex. You feel like you're not heard because you can't get your volume up here. Volume. <laughs> Damn, bro. what does that mean? <laughs> no, I, I know you've been keep you've been packing this shit. Like you have this. You, <laughs> no, that, was just, that, was just a, that was just a freestyle. No, nah, <laughs> please elaborate. It was off the dome. Though. Yo, man, shout out to the short nigga that hurt that heart, man. Hey, like, the thing is, I I, I rock it no, anyways. Listen. Like, like my my presence felt regardless where I'm at. And whether so, why I'm does in it a, matter if NBA I tune you out or room? not? Huh? So why does it matter if you feel like I tune you out or not? It, it, no, but it's it's a fact. Like it's if you go to previous episodes and you watch your you, your facial expressions and then how we conversate, you you tune me out. I mean, you just admitted earlier in the this same episode mm -hmm. that you don't have thoughts. It, sometimes I don't have formulated thoughts. So what am mm -hmm. I tuning out? <laughs> that, that, that. <laughs> It, it, it's, it's, I mean, I'm not even trying to be funny. I'm mm -hmm. just like, what am I tuning out? We just have. What about the episode when I was having a serious conversation? And you interrupted and said Ghostbusters. Which one? You you remember that episode? What about the What episode. about the episode when I talked about sexual assault and you said you know I can relate because girls be biting me. That, uh, but to me, it's still hey, like make sure that's check out those saying, episodes. Like, to me. <laughs> so, like, you, that's a, do you that's, really you want to do this? No, but that, that's assault. Would me. you like? To, would you like to no. do this, or you want? But stop? that's like I feel like done? I was. Well, mom and dad, I like, like, <laughs> are you done? <laughs> no, 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 no. But like, there's like, see, that's that's one of the episodes you did to me. I like, I feel like at that time period, I was assaulted. 
Like I feel like men's voice Yo, don't, don't get hurt. Me, you sound don't like, make me you sound like you. a cave bitch right now. Nigga. Don't make me sheet through like, you. Like I will remy my your ass mm-hmm. right now. I feel like, assaulted because you, you couldn't. Speak. Well, it wasn't that's assaulted, a, but it could have it could have led to it. Like it was it was progressions. No, you just don't like it when the attention is not on you. No. Because that in that episode where I talked about oh, sexual wow. assault, mm-hmm. it wasn't. You talking and then me cutting you off talking about it. It was like a spotlight for me to actually explain myself and tell my story. Mm-hmm. And then you felt the need to relate, which you couldn't. I, I like I might be able to relate 100 percent. But like we all have experiences and I just wanted to showcase my experience. Do you understand the restraint that it took that episode? It, it, no, I know mm-hmm. you don't. Mm-hmm. I know no, you don't. I haven't been there. So. So did you think that that was appropriate? Like uh, now, looking yeah. back on hindsight, do you think what you did when you went from, when she told her story about mm-hmm. being assaulted, did you go to, I got bit by this girl in the Uber or the Lyft? Or he, I don't even think he got yeah. bit. It was something yeah. like stupid. It was yeah, something yeah I did like, get bit Looking though. back on hindsight, mm-hmm. do you feel that it was still oh, appropriate? It was, I think he was saying like how girls be like undressing him with their eyes and stuff like that. Either way, it was something that was completely like Mm-mm. a slap in the face in regards to my actual real story. Would you take back anything mm-hmm. you did then or no? Um, You know, can we... Can so we yes that, no. And mind you, that was my mm-hmm. first episode on the podcast. So yeah, mm-hmm. you, you're right. I have been harboring that with me and probably have mm-hmm. been cutting you off because after that, I mm-hmm. realized that you don't have nothing important to say. Mm-hmm. Do you want to keep mm-hmm. going or... What what Therapy, happened to what we call a break Oh, now we want to talk about. Now we want to talk about Takashi. <laughs> like, are we gonna edit this? Are we, oh, now, now you want to edit it? Is it still rolling? You now wanna, you want to edit wanna it? Talking, Is it still rolling? Man, the man, you want to keep. I need you to come with that same yeah, no. energy. You keep talking Are we about wrong? that same energy when yeah, you no. said that's right one paying attention to the We're conversation. Not editing shit, okay? <laughs> yeah, no. You keep talking about bringing up my therapy and shit, which I don't have a problem talking about. But we call I believe they call this a breakthrough moment. Let's uh-huh. talk about it, okay? Like, Obviously, you've been you had some shit on your chest, and you're the one who sparked this conversation. Mm-hmm. Come to find out, Dez had some shit on her chest too. Oh, I'm sorry. How do Des. you respond? I'm sorry. Sorry for, for what? You off. Sorry for what? I'm sorry for cutting her off in serious moments. And I'm going to do better to... I don't want uh, your apology. You can keep it. uh, But I'm going to say sorry anyways. And I want to not only apologize to you, but I want to apologize to the fans and listeners, you know. Um, and it is so. Can we can we just like talk about something else? This is like so awkward. Let's talk about something else. No, this this is a good one. This is break. This is a breakthrough. But you are being fake right now. I don't believe that you're really sorry. I am. How, like, how do, do I need to be like Brett Kavanaugh and cry? You're not even sorry for the right thing. Like, I just told you what, anyways. So, 6 9 I feel like his interview, I don't believe that he's like, I don't think that he's stupid, but I feel like in his interview, for one, it was hard for me to get through it because he took a whole bunch of pauses trying to think of what he was going to say and trying to explain himself. So, that made the interview way longer than what it should have been because it was at least like 15 minutes of just pause worthy. But all of his like, interviews are entertaining. Mm-hmm. I would say that. I actually, this is the one. I like the first where, one on Breakfast Club better than this one. I can see that. The first one was more entertaining. And this one, though, I felt like he was actually a, a human. I actually believed yeah. what he was saying in this one. He proved I didn't believe himself. shit that he said in the first interview. Yeah. Not one thing. I think the thing that, like, makes me still not like him or, like, makes me disappointed in him is the fact that. You know, he's saying all this stuff happened about the shooting, about having to fire his whole team and, and all this stuff. And Tassion's death. Remember? But, and then, like, Charlamagne's oh, like, really? so did all of this, like, humble you? Like, does it bring things into reality for you? And he was just like, nah. Like, I, I don't really, I don't I like really that. care he's about. He's actually I, a humble guy. Like, a lot of people who need him say he's a humble guy. Like, I'm not saying that he's not humble, but I'm just saying, like, you talking mess and then that's making, that's provoking people wanting to, like, shoot you. I have no problem with, I mean, I don't want, I really don't want the Uh, young man to get hurt in real life. Right. But I do enjoy his antics. I've always said this. I think hip hop always needs a villain Mm. in every era. You had 50 Cent, you had Eminem, you had Tupac. Every era in hip hop needs a villain. Takashi is that guy right now. Yeah. I just hope I just I I hope it, he gets out of the street shit. You know him having a video shoot shot up this past 
you know, a few days or so. Oh, wow. I, I hope he gets his shit out of the streets. Quit fucking with these Chirac niggas. Mm. Okay? But I like the light hard jab. I like the jabs and shit. I like him being with Trippy's baby mama and all that. Mm. You know, niggas can get killed for I that kind of shit, too. I don't mind any of that, but I, I just think, like, I don't think his answer is honest. And that's why I'm not, like, I don't agree with it. Because, like, at the end of the day, it does make you stop and think about some stuff. And, and it, he said that on the interview. Mm. You know, he was like... They were like, how did you feel knowing that your mom's address was given out? He was like, I mean, I'm not going to lie. Like, I was scared for her. Like, don't nobody want their mama address out there. Like, that ain't got nothing to do with me, blah, blah, blah. And I'm just like, okay, so just admit that you're not, like, Invisible. you ain't got to say that, okay, I'm not going to, like, troll nobody anymore. But admit that you're not, like, invincible or, like, Superman and, you know, bullets not just going to bounce off of you or something. Mm -hmm. Like, you know. I think he has, subtly. I think he has I think that. I think his pride is still, like too too high like I, I feel like you messing with the wrong people and you know it'd be tragic if something were to happen but at the same time people a lot of people would be like well it's justified you know because of just how you acted and I think yeah. I think he has a lot to offer and I think that he's going about things in a smart way but I think that he's also like he has a very uh, like a simple way of thinking things like he thinks like a child just and from he's only he 20 he's yeah, like 20 he 21 so yeah. he is a kid yeah. you know well i mean a, a kid in the sense of like i have money i could do whatever i want yeah, yeah that's and what a kid and would that's do. not like that's not realistic when Tell you have a family yeah cuz cuz he he represents everything that this generation is about cuz he has like a kid he has his mom like these are people you can, if you had nobody you cared about mm -hmm. I can understand this completely. Like, but, I think there's a big disconnect with this era. Like, these kids right now and thinking the actions you do online, like trolling people online and shit, mm. there's not going to be real life repercussions. Right. Like, oh, this is just like my celebrity world. Yeah. But in real life, like, nobody's going to come for my mom and my kid. Exactly. I don't think he under, like, well, I think he's getting it now. <laughs> he's getting it now. Yeah. Unfortunately, the hard way. But, um, honestly, I felt, I felt he was, he's actually proven to be a human in this interview. I liked his energy. I like, I, I really don't, honestly, I could easily say I want Kachikashi to grow up and all this and that, but that shit would be boring. I want the game to still be fun, but I hope he learns how to maneuver how, like what, I hope he realizes what is too far. Telling right. that nigga, telling the street nigga to <laughs> suck your dick with, your, with his mama's dead lips. In my mind, I'm thinking, how can you be surprised you get shot at? I would right. say something like that and not expect bullets to fly. Right. You know? I'm not, you know, but that's where this this generation is kind of different. Just like old dude that posted, uh, what's his name? Some rapper, Smoke Perp, posted Russ's Russ's sister, yeah, posted yeah, Russ's sister on that. his YouTube page, like on the profile, Abby. I feel like that's grounds for that's a shot up for war, mm -hmm. right? You know. So I hey, just man. think if he's gonna do it, you know, he's he's cool with Fifty Cent. I'm like, you know, you need to go that route because Fifty Cent at the end of the day ain't saying anything that's gonna make somebody like want to kill him. He did. Back in the yeah. day, yeah, yeah, yeah. like back no. in the day, but yeah. 50 Cent, then, remember, you don't forget. Just a while back, he was beefing with Mayweather, and it got personal. But yeah, but it wasn't nothing like nah, no street but shit. But it, it was. If Mayweather wanted it Fifty Cent dead, he would have been dead. Besides, Fifty and Mayweather have fought before, like really? physically. Fought? Yeah, like and Fifty even said he said he got hit by Mayweather threw a jab and hit him in the ear, and he said, "Damn, that shit stung." Yeah, so really? they actually kind of threw blows. It wasn't like just a a, a, a like long a fight, 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 but you yeah. know, to yeah. have like blows. maybe they both got into the boxing ring with gloves on and fought like no, that. like it was a, a just a, a street fight, like brothers. I think they even mm -hmm. I think they even say they have that kind of relationship, kind of brotherly. <laughs> You know? Yeah, they have to. The way they be going at each other, you could tell like there's an extensive history between them yeah. of just but, like but when, we just go back, but we not like fooling with each other all the way. Like yeah. we don't see eye to eye anymore like we used to. But, but, but didn't didn't Fifty like accuse uh, Mayweather of getting someone of uh, his friend killed or something like that? I don't recall that. No, I, I think. It, I think it was when that guy killed his girlfriend and himself uh -huh. and uh, Mayweather was supposedly on FaceTime with him like before or during it and uh, 50 Cent brought that up. Yeah, okay. that's, that's, is that what yeah, friends do? Yeah, it was that dancer who... Hey, Jay-Z yeah. stabbed his brother, you know, and I hear they have a good relationship now. So. Really? Hey, Jay-Z stabbed Ma his brother? shot somebody, so... Yeah. Remy I mean, Ma shot someone? Yeah, that's why she went to jail. But uh, is she cool with the person she shot? 
No, but that person but, knows she about that life now. Yeah, but it's different if you like you talking about they, they have that type of relationship, but then Fifty Cent is exploiting Mayweather, and then well, well, I'm, I'm just saying in the sense of like you realize what somebody is really about, regardless of what like you know that was her friend, so it's mm-hmm. like you would think that your friend wouldn't stab you, but then you saw. Or shoot you, but then you see that they actually about that life. So I think a lot of times we push people to you know the limit, and then you, once you see what they really about, you'd be like, okay, I'm gonna chill out. Yeah. Mm. Like I'm sure if he's not gonna try to fist fight Floyd yeah. ever, no, you bring a gun to that fight. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I got you. Fist fighting ain't it. Don't, yeah, everybody do got yeah. limits. I've been there. I've yeah. been there. So speaking of your limits, man, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm I'm curious where to go from here. Are we gonna talk about yo know, the mini Walrus situation? I see you brought guests over here. I don't know if we're going to talk about that or should we finish unpacking the shit that you kind of started? What? Between you Oh, we can talk about the war and stuff. The the dichotomy (laughs) between me and uh, Des. We can talk about... Mm -hmm. So, so, um, are we going to bring on our guests? Like, that would be wonderful. Guests, are y'all ready to come on? Yeah, man. You know what? Hey, it was some time back in the day and I got my cousin, y'all, who corroborated the the story here. Oh yeah, you gonna have to bring a chair, bro. And yeah. and it's crazy that we're talking about <laughs> no, that because here. Netflix just released their new Narcos uh, series, and it's Narcos Mexico. Ole, <laughs> yo, that's the shit we talking mm. about, Nana. Mm. Actually, I probably you want to switch seats? Mm. No, yeah. no, it's no good. there's a lot of, a lot of energy. Well, I'm just saying because if they gonna be sharing the story together, oh, I get what you're saying. No, we're good. That's what it worked friends. out. But yeah, yeah we're all it friends. Worked out either way. <laughs> we're all good. <laughs> I see what you do. Okay, <laughs> Daz, you say. <laughs> yeah. Is that so, what you man, do? Like, nah, I don't want to inc- switch. Y'all go ahead and switch. And and, and honestly, I don't want to incriminate nobody. So let's yeah, speak in hypotheticals, okay? Hypothetically, if right. this would happen, this would it would have caused this. All right, let's get know? right to it. Like right to hey, it. Hey, shout out. So who who would really know me is my cousin, my brother, Yah. All and, right. Um, you know we've been through it all. Y'all, Bras, can you enlighten us fights, about this situation? Everything. With the whole mini war is. Mm. Which situation? Okay, so the background is that Nana alleges that he actually was like in almost a gang and like over here like with some drug dealers and stuff. And you know, from earlier where he stated that he doesn't even have thoughts, I don't see how he could have made it. I was so. just about to say that yeah. Nana would have got his ass killed if that no, were the no, case. No, so no, I'm no, highly no, skeptical. He told us no, bits no. and pieces of this story. Yo, really? No, <laughs> no, 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 there's no. different sides. Yeah, you gotta have. I mean, I mean, yeah, were, yeah, Nana, you blue. gotta have a certain brightness mm-hmm. to be a drug dealer. There's, 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 <laughs> Nana hey. wasn't a drug dealer. You know, there's, there's <laughs> Louis, uh, you don't want to incriminate yourself. He wasn't a drug dealer. Okay, okay, get that clear. Okay, okay. No, no hands touched drugs. We saw what happened. A R A B. Let them know about Nana Man. Yeah, but, There's but Chapo. Is getting over there? All right, y'all. But, What's up? Yeah, um, we done it all. Let, let, let's, it. Get, let's, let's get let's get right to it. the okay, shit. So, so what exactly you want to know? What I want to mm-hmm. take take us to I don't know the car like because okay. this story this is so guess, discombobulated. Like, the cartel right, me, take us to the me, gang let me, shit. Let me give you some backdrop, okay? How were you involved in this? Me and my you know me and y'all you know we we grew up like since yay hot like we we like we basically grew up together, all right. Pretty much same house and everything. So, anyways, you know, and you know, we played sports together. This your cousin. Boom, got it. Yeah, let's yeah, move on yeah, to the, the shit. Gotta tell you, Listen, I gotta tell you that too. We, we only have that yet. So let's, let's much start time on air. I know. So <laughs> let me let me I'm alluding to it. So, anyways, so pretty much we were playing football and we were like, hey, one of my good friends, he uh had got a scholarship to University of Texas El Paso and played football. And then you know, it's like, man, let's go out there with him and, and try to play football. And you know we did such thing, but we also got into some extracurricular activity, and we didn't know how deep we were really in. Even to this day, I still don't know the the ramifications of how deep it was. Okay. Um. So you know during that time period, we had um gotten um befriended a big time drug dealer. Mm. Um. And I, you know I thought he was a good friend because he would buy Jordans for all of us. You know, and he was moving weight. We're talking about Big Meech, Larry Hoover. Yeah, you whipping work. You could testify to this. Yes. Okay. Hallelujah. That, that much uh, weight. He was moving major he weight. He made uh-huh. weight. I mean, some major. You know. Weight. Hey, like mm. how we met him was. 
funny. Like one night we went to the club, just me, him, and one of our boys, and club was, I mean, dead, dry. And we was just sitting down, just chilling. Beyonce single ladies was playing. I remember, like we were just sitting there. Just <laughs> hey, jamming. y'all was y'all was up there doing. Not, literally, nah. we was sitting down jamming to, and then <laughs> we seen one guy that we met out there that's in the gang, but we didn't know at the time. We seen him getting into a fight, and me, it's just me, Nana, and our other humble. We just looking, just like, damn, man, shoot, y'all want to help? Why would y'all help though? Because we was bored. Yeah, oh, okay. and we, and we knew up. that guy who got in a fight too. <laughs> like cool we him. knew him, but like we didn't know the depths of what he was involved. Now in. y'all yeah. seen him around? We said, see, hey, yeah, we seen yeah, him around. Yeah, yeah. Met his baby mama and everything. It was cool because cool. our homeboy was dating his baby mama's best friend. Mm-hmm. So it was like I, I was like, man, I just proposed a question. Yeah, I'm like, y'all want to help? Like, shoot, we bored. Like, ain't nothing else to do. It was like the juice scene when Pot yeah. got jumped. Yeah, yeah so yeah. we sitting now and then. Watch it. Our, one of our homeboys jumped in first and came in two piece the dude then we seen I seen another guy come down the stairs and that's when I got up and I started fighting then Nana comes in boom boom and that happens get thrown out the club we leaving our boy comes and talks to us like man bro appreciate y'all da 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 uh-huh. he's like shoot I'm gonna introduce y'all to the big homie the connect. It's a spark of a beautiful friendship yeah right. but we didn't know what he meant when he said big homie we yeah. didn't know them boys yeah. was pushing white we stopped like man, sure. uh-huh. they just they like us and we were young yeah, and naive, was 18, 18, 19, 18 19 19 okay yeah. so we met the big homie took us to the trap he was like oh this is the big homie for real like yeah moving dope but but he was a nice guy like you know he'll buy his shoes and but even before it got to that like we just just being around him, like bro, he just hanging out, taking us out. Like he gave us his backstory, how he got it, how he got involved into this. Like he came out there to play football. Shoot, things went left, got locked up, mm-hmm. came out, and mm-hmm. like shoot, he's like shoot, I'm right here by the border, so I might as well go ahead and start. Start slanging. Move. So I'm just like, he brought y'all into his operation just that quick, that easily? Yeah, yeah because our homeboy became very tight with him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And he just basically like, shoot, these my boys. So yeah. like, as long, like, just made a connection right there. We all play ball, so it was like, <laughs> he played ball, like, just made a connection off of that. And it was mm-hmm. on and rocking after that. Like, but see, we got to give the users some more entertainment. We got to tell them what it all went down. So... Uh, before you, before I want to hear what you about to say. Before we go on, can any of this shit be looked up? Like, can we verify any of this? Any articles? Any? I don't want to. I like okay. the thing about it. Most of the dudes that we hung out with out there, yeah. we didn't know them by their real names. A few of them we did. Uh huh. But most of them we, we just called them by their nicknames. But like the ones that got busted, because I'm assuming oh, some yeah, went you, down. You could, you could look it up. I, I could search yeah. this. Yeah, you could if search. They're this. alive. No, 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 some of them. Okay, did. okay, yeah. some of them did, but like the main dude, <laughs> <laughs> the, the, ma- the, the, the main, yeah. the main, the main, the yeah, main. I don't want to know what I really do. He alive. <laughs> he's still alive, yeah. but he's he, he's locked up. They all got up. okay. All of them. So is this why I mean. Nana doesn't really open up much on the podcast? Is because he's an actual drug dealer, and we just don't. Nah, know. he ain't no drug dealer. Nah, I ain't <laughs> no drug dealer. <laughs> but I'm, I'm aware. Sometimes no there's dealer. there's informants. So yeah. at, at the whole time we were hanging out with those guys yeah, there was, there was a, an informant there was a sting but so we, one never, of, we didn't know till once i left one of the homeboys that came back was like yeah man all of them got locked up and there was an investigation the whole time i was out there one of the guys that we we're real close with or was uh, uh in the gang he was actually a informant yeah. He was informing uh, on all of them. feeding so, all the information. So tell us that story. Or tell tell us the story you were gonna say. So the big time we we'll, we'll call him Capo. Yeah, everybody Capo. Call him. Call him. Okay. You, yeah. you wanna say his real name on here? It's out. No, you can say his real <laughs> no, name because his real name. His real I'm not gonna say his real name. No, no. I mean, but I mean yeah. his real name. name I don't even like, know. Look his real big name. Me, that ain't his real name. Uh, no, 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 let's just leave name. it at Capo. Okay, that's what we called him for. We call him Capo. You know, Capo, big homie. And you gotta think about it, at the time I was eighteen, very impressionable, eighteen, nineteen. This guy would really take care of you like a brother. Like he sold us all. He sold us on the lifestyle. The new Jordans will come out. Everybody, like we're talking about 10 people get a pair but did y'all put in work for him no no. Hell no! Did he, I mean, did he tell? Like, did he ask y'all? Hell no! He yeah. never because he, he always asked he, us. He, he, nah, nah. He he really <laughs> didn't ask. If we wanted to, we could have. Like, we could have just approached him with the yo. Like, I want to get down. But he at the same time he knew he was in college. 
and we ain't from out here. He knew we wasn't on that. That well, tip. Cause he, I don't believe he, he was, was just taking that. Carrie off for nah, free. I've nah, never nah, heard nah, of a friend. Because the thing <laughs> is, he he genuinely liked this. Like oh, he, he really he? Yeah, he really fucked with this. Mm-hmm. Like, but especially me because. Mm-hmm. Like I was always around them, uh-huh. like, uh, like always around them. But because but, I look at this, there's either two ways: either you, either he has y'all putting in work, is nah, in yeah. moving drugs nah, or associating yeah. with that, or shit. <laughs> he have y'all doing some sexual favors. He, all right, hell no. I don't know what's hey, going. Yeah, I'm what? just saying, like, nah. why the fuck is a girl man? Nah, because the thing so about it, take a liking the, to you guys, the man. Thing about it, once he seen, <laughs> once he heard about us. Helping his boy out, uh-huh. you know, old boy like that. We yeah. met him past. He looked like man, these some cool ass, cool ass niggas. Like they, uh-huh. they, bro, they didn't have to help out five five. Like they just, they just jumped out the window and went out there. So he like, shoot, I can roll with them. Like, okay, like, I mm-hmm. fuck with them like, just off the strength of that. Like it was yeah. nothing, no weight moving, no, no killing nothing. We wasn't on that shit. Okay, but we stuff did college. get kind of, kind of risky for Let's us. Talk a lot about of that. Times. So <laughs> one of the things is. I didn't know at the time before I met him. Now, this is this I a was, nana moment. This ain't yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I didn't know at the time when I was then I was messing with his main girl, mm-hmm. his girlfriend. Uh-huh. Okay, at the time I didn't know. You know, Chapo or Capo, yeah. Capo, Capo. But let her know he had five other girls and like. But six this other one was kids, his main man. But this was like his main his girl. Down shit. Yeah. Oh, okay. So the bottom bitch. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, one yeah. time we we're all kind of kicking because we, and we, we only say in the B word because we don't know her name. No, I mean that's a, that's an actual <laughs> term though. No, I know, but oh, I'm okay, <laughs> that Cat Williams. <laughs> so at the time we were all kind of we all used to just kind of kick it because my home we're, how we got introduced to him. One of my homeboys was dating uh, a girl who was kind of you know around the gang members all the time. So anyways, we were all kind of kicking in the house, and I was talking to the girl at the time period, and then we hear here, and I was uh, actually in bed with the girl, and we hear. Hear banging on the door like poop 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 poop. All right, this is like three a.m. in the morning. Uh huh. So he comes, not knowing that he was like, "Oh, my boyfriend coming, my boyfriend coming." You gotta hide. So this time, like R. Kelly trapped in the closet. Type That's what of it sound thing. like? And I was like, "Dang!" Like I couldn't go out the room because he's gonna come in the room. So I had to crawl up underneath the bed while they were getting it in. Mm-hmm. You know, for like. Two, two, three yeah, hours. Only Nana could be in this position. <laughs> two, three hours they were getting it in. <laughs> no, well, I was just like, I didn't want to. This guy has to leave. Like, I had to wait till he leave the house. You Did know? you get anything on you? Hmm? Uh, uh, no. <laughs> Some moisturizer? <laughs> No, 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 no. Beard oil. You didn't get a yeah. So, and like, and I just met him, and at the time, and I, I knew how violent he was. Like, like he was a good guy, but he showcased his violent. Like, how? He would punch, like, he would punch someone in front of you. Shit. And he, even the girl I was talking to, he beat her up so bad. Like, so bad, like, her whole right side of her face was red. Like, it wasn't Not just. Just red. She had a <clears throat> black eye. Like, Worse than Cuban doll? Worse, man. He beat wait. Shit. When did you know get beat up? I happened like a, like a month he ago beat, by mm-hmm. Tato, Chief Keef's cousin. Uh, he beat the brakes off this girl in yeah. front of in front of all his homies. Yeah. Like yeah. we yeah. wasn't like, around because we yeah we left we left. So, so that's how much respect he had. He beat the girl in front of everybody yeah. and nobody respect. Did Yes. Them dudes were scared of him. Yeah. Right. That wasn't respect. Yeah, I don't respect you just because you beat the hell yeah, out of no, a no, female. It, it but wasn't, nobody wasn't, stopped it. it. That's what I'm no, saying. Because they was they was terrified of him. Because uh-huh. he he made some orders to take care of somebody. Let's leave it at that. To kill somebody. Just take care. We'll say take care. Okay. Isn't he locked up? Uh, we, yeah. Let's just say take care. Oh, so, is that why she lied and said she wasn't with Six Nine? Mm-hmm. Oh, y'all didn't say that. You know, no, yeah, you want some other shit. We talking about okay, I yeah. mean, back to it, but I was just like, so, hey, anyways, man. And you know, uh, stuff started getting at haywire when one of my good friends, my uh, it'll say best friend at the time, start to push weight himself, uh huh, you know. And you know, I even was starting to store stuff at the at the our place. Me and him used to live together, mm-hmm. and we started. I well, I don't know if he did knows. He, I started. Question: Did stuff. he ask y'all to do that, or did you volunteer to do that? It was it was asked. He's like, "Hey, you, we, this is a couple. Let's just call them Skittles. 
Uh, it's a couple of Skittles. <laughs> uh huh. It's a couple five hundred Skittles. Put it in your your thing. See that 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 goes where I say, no, he wasn't taking care of y'all. He was grooming y'all. No, no, no. I wasn't okay. involved in the, the mm. that. I, uh -huh. I, I wasn't. I left by the, when he was doing when he did that. I was already left El Paso. No, no, no. Uh -huh. He was there. He didn't know. Uh -oh. Yeah, he was well, there. <laughs> you didn't yeah. know that the Skittles were in the. Uh, <laughs> I didn't know about that. He didn't even know. All right. Oh, I and he know. gave us a pound of let's oh, just say wow. grass. All right, he gave us a pound of grass. All right, we I had that, and I was I was even distributing that to the our let's just say our players. Okay, we're distributing that to. This the is players. exactly why I can't now believe that could be a drug dealer. <laughs> and and it, that's a crazy thing because like I didn't know how to weigh nothing. Like I would give people man. a handful. They're like, let me get a nickel. I'm like, I don't know. Like just giving them a handful of stuff. Yeah. Like I don't know what a nickel or dime or whatever yeah. is a quarter uh -huh. uh, from a dollar. I my don't hands, know. My hands are you know? clean. <laughs> <laughs> but his hands isn't all the way clean. No, no. Because one, oh, no, don't no. let him fool you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Because because you can't when you become a place, driver bro. for the the most the drug dealer in El Paso, <laughs> then you're you're part of it. No, no, no. Okay, like this. You okay. was the driver. Hold on. All right, y'all. Hold on. Hold on. I, 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 wouldn't say, I wouldn't say. What's up, man? <laughs> 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 now talk you know, to us, man. He's going around and <laughs> why is everybody <laughs> laughing so hard? Are we gonna end some of it? Are we gonna end? We <laughs> okay, y'all? What's up, man? Okay, I say this. His car was hot, <laughs> and in uh, like by the laws, knew which all his cars, so he had to get rid of all his cars. Mm -hmm. And you know, in college, especially freshman year, so you done out of class <laughs> 12, 30, 1 o'clock. So anytime I was out of class, I'd just go link up with them, just yeah. kick it, whatnot. Sometimes, and I would be the one driving because he would he would never drive. Because okay. so I drive, yeah. and yeah, he probably made some stops, some mm -hmm. drops, going to the spot, getting some stuff. So you didn't know what you were just, nah, just nah, driving. Man, I was just driving. Okay. Then when I see, it, I'm like, oh shit, oh this yeah. ain't for me, bro. Let me, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> let, me, let me take my ass home, bro. I'll drop you off at your girl spot, then mm -hmm. I'll go back home. But uh -huh. like. Yeah, he made some. I get you twenty five easy. Yeah, man, twenty five easy. Yeah, yeah. biggest well, customers. He was touching it, Adam. Mm -hmm. I was like, you were touching it. Mm -hmm. Why would you self incriminate? I yeah, know. Mm -hmm. Are we gonna? We gonna edit that's just, no, that, yeah. that's exactly why I don't believe that it could be any kind of drug dealer. He, Nana is not a drug dealer. Oh, never was. Yeah, he's <laughs> not a drug dealer. He's a, he's I'm a, speaking he's, hypothetically. Yeah, he's a student. Yeah, <laughs> he was not no drug dealer. It just, it just we experienced. Like when I knew this wasn't from like me to get away from that group of guys. Uh -huh. Shoot, one night they all went out, and me and Anna like, nah, we gonna chill. We ain't going out. Like I ain't on that type. And like for some reason in El Paso, there's Bloods and Crips. I don't uh -huh. know how, but there's a military base out there. Mm -hmm. So I guess there's a, a lot of Bloods people and that Crips bring out that culture out there. So. The guys we hung out with were a bunch of bloods. They had beef with a bunch of crips. They went out one night. It happened. All of them got shot that night. Damn. Every single one of them. Damn. All nine. Nine of them. Was got that a setup? I don't know what it what it was. Like some Usually, red wedding they, shit, like Game got, of Thrones. They, they all got shot. Nobody died or anything, but they all got shot. And I was like, yeah. Nobody died. No. <laughs> not, Damn, that niggas, was, niggas can't shot, shoot. Man. Yeah, not yeah, yeah, niggas can't shoot. <laughs> or niggas can't shoot. <laughs> That's the night I was like, shit. My parents sent me out here to go to college. <laughs> you know, game. Yeah. So I'm gonna stay my ass away yeah. from these yeah. boys. Like yeah. this ain't for me. Bro. Look, learn, like, and listen. I was like, yeah. all yeah. Because imagine if me and Anna went out there, she would have been right in the thick of things with them yeah. trenches so how did capo go down because i mean I, I read that he's i mean i not read but i heard that he was that he's already been incarcerated correct yeah so what was up with that story were y'all present were y'all around no no when the first time he got locked up no uh no -huh. nah, nah, i mean first time he got locked up he was so much older than us like shoot when we was what 18 he was 30 uh-huh and um, I guess when he was out there, he started dealing himself mm -hmm. once he's like, because he was playing ball out there. But, you know, you know, boys, them scholarship, scholarship checks ain't enough for some people. Yeah. So he like, shoot, I got to make some real money. Got connected with some boys out there and started dope dealing. And he got busted, spent like a couple years. And then after that, that when he got out, 
that's when he's like, shoot, I'm going to just stay down here because, shoot, it, this is an untapped market. Because El Paso at the time when we came out there, El Paso was like the sixth safest city yeah. in America. Yeah. So it was like, shoot, even though they close to the border, it, was, uh-huh. it wasn't really popping off in El Paso like that. So he just came out there and just took over and just. Were there any moments that y'all still. Like some of that shit still lingers with you. Like still kind of kind of fucks with you if you think about it. Like did they leave, did that experience leave any long Trauma. lasting impressions? Oh yeah, for sure, they, man. I remember one time, and this is not even associated with the gang members, but we were coming back from El Paso a long night um, from Dallas, and we were driving, and then my homeboy was driving, but he was high out his mind. You know, he was high. Were and, you? No. What is that like a six hour drive? It was eight hours, nine, we, nine or nine hours. But he was high, like. But I was frustrated. I was gonna drive, but we were supposed to leave like first thing in the morning, and he wanted to stay there all day, knowing that I had a test and practice in the morning, first mm-hmm. thing six a.m. So by the time I got back to El Paso, it was six a.m. So I didn't get no chance to, you know, even study for my test. I was already tired. But anyways, so we're driving. This guy hot as mine, so he falls asleep on the wheel. All right, and people are going ninety miles per hour. All right, there's a eighteen wheeler coming to us, hit his head on. All right, that's how I knew, you know, and that's why I'm a very wait, spiritual. Wait, y'all were going ninety miles an hour. No. When that's you, the when highway. You... The highway speed limit is. But like, what speed were y'all going? Probably right? we sixty we or seventy. Okay, sixty or seventy, right? Yeah, probably sixty. And then what happened is so you were in the car too. Yeah, he okay. fell asleep. Uh huh. And so, you know, the car, and we're all asleep, basically. The car started drifting off. And, <laughs> yeah. So I made that sound and woke him up, and he jerked back onto the road. Hell no. And an 18-wheeler just came. Head on. And it, it, it hit the back it, of us. So we, we the, honestly, it hit the back. Okay. It hit like, the back. I, 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 be here. It hit I, the back. This is why we have to have people around <laughs> the whole exactly thing. Exactly right. <laughs> it hit the, because if you hit head on, bro. Like, and I'm done. looking like, y'all That's niggas look all right, but size not a head yeah, interview. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then I was about to say how they had. Let me tell you. You were about to say how y'all had the armor of God, and that's why y'all here. We did. Yeah, man. I'm not going to lie. It was head. We in the middle of nowhere. Like the middle of nowhere. It was. But even if an 18 wheeler hits you on the just the back you shouldn't be able to drive the car the car was still drivable okay that's why so he clips you basically but even if it clips you you shouldn't even be able to drive if that's not true if 18 wheeler coming you're going 60 to 70 18 wheeler going at least 80 that's not true but anyways you you just get clipped like (laughs) you'll probably spin out a little bit but yeah yeah, we spun out we spun out but it's possible to come from that and still be able to drive it yeah (laughs) and it was a rental car too (laughs) yeah so anyways you know um you know we we made it out there alive and then another thing when i knew it was getting real you know narcos type was when my friend asked me to hold a gun then i was like hey and the gun, he was he was riding around with the gun. Do you make and, that noise like during intercourse or <laughs> maybe? He's right there. He. <laughs> but anyways, the gun had a body on it. Okay. Mm-hmm. How do you know that? Cause he told me. Mm-hmm. It was from Capo's people, and then he wanted him to hold a gun, and then he was driving around with the gun. And he's like, "Oh, let me just store it in your house." Yeah, man. Yeah. It, it it got it got to a point where you just started like, bro, this ain't the lifestyle. Yeah. This ain't me. And then you see how they traffic easy. They used to. It was so easy to traffic from Juarez to uh, to El Paso. Uh, there was a lot of girls who would stuff the uh, skittles in their vagina and then come across the uh, border. <laughs> yeah, mule. Yeah, yeah but it, uh, mm-hmm. We didn't have to deal with that. That's, now, you know my next question. We didn't have to deal with that. Where did y'all have to stop? We didn't have to. We, we didn't like, How did y'all the, get the thing them, about it is they had, they, had, they had whatever their connect out here in, in, in El Paso, so they go to their connect and handle the biz that way. But it, it came like, from Warriors. It what really like got it when it got to like real and use like just besides <laughs> them getting shot is. Once everybody around us, like all the boys that went to school with us, because you know, it was El Paso, not too mm. many black people out there. If you out there going to school out there, you're either playing ball or you just trying to get as far as the way from Houston, Dallas, or Cali. Because mm-hmm. that's where everybody was from Houston, Dallas, or Cali. Mm-hmm. Like all the black people. So once boys started seeing us, like with some other cats, like in. I say like fresh, like because he was buying us shoes, clothes, whatever. Mm-hmm. Boys like shoot, man, shoot. Let's start kicking with them. 
once we started seeing everybody getting involved with that, I was like, yo, this might not be for us. And then we started getting more fights in mm-hmm. El Paso randomly. Like the Mexicans. That's were like, what I was about to ask. Oh, Mexicans, yeah. oh, black. Man, one okay. night, one night, this is the worst fight. He Nana wasn't there. But we went to the club after the club. Was this when he was in the under the bed for three hours? <laughs> <laughs> nah, he went to another club, but we went to like there was a club outside of city limits where it was open later. So we went to the club and uh after the club one of the homies went to go to uh get his stuff out of so called Capo's car. Mm-hmm. And some Mexican dudes are just standing there like, bro, why why you popping trunk on us? The Mexicans say that? Yeah. Speaking English? Yeah. Oh. He's like, why y'all hopping Trump? <laughs> Normally in these situations, motherfuckers hey, are speaking English. They speak like, Spanish, I'm running. He's like, he's like, why y'all popping trunk on us? Like, he's like, bro, I'm not popping trunk. I'm just grabbing my shoes. <laughs> like, hey. so he grabbed his shoes. Like, hey, he's like, all right, cool. He grabbed his shoes, come back to the car. Then he's like, oh, snap, I forgot some. So he went back to the oh, car shit. and popped the trunk again. This time, the Mexican dude pulled up on him. Like, yeah. you say you wasn't popping trunk? Why? And he pushed him. He's like, bro, I said I ain't popping trunk. So all of a sudden, I'm in the car, me and my homeboy in the car and his girl in the car. We see homeboy hit him. I was like, oh, damn. So my homeboy run out the car and they boxing. I'm just sitting in the car like, man, I ain't fighting. Yeah, Not tonight. This, you, this, yeah. this, 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 nah, man, this is Mexicans. They might stab us. Like, I'm chilling. <laughs> Pretty sure. Next thing I, I'm in the car, my homeboy girl like, oh, so you just going to sit in the car and watch them get their ass me? I was like, come on, man. Like, seriously. So get your ass out. So I <laughs> ran out there. So we started boxing. I got hit. And then we was getting our ass whooped low key. <laughs> yeah. Because it was a lot more of them than us. Let's get fast as hell, too, more. man. And this is when I knew. Speedy motherfuckers, The cop dude wasn't really what he says he is. Because we fighting, in, like, right behind his car. Uh-huh. He never gets out the car. While we're all boxing, he's uh-huh. in his car the, the whole cop? time. No, Capo. Oh, or, Capo. Okay. He's in he's his car the whole time. I mean, when you the head honcho, you ain't yeah, got He's in him. his car this whole time, but he has a brother. His brother jumps in the, mus- in the Mustang and just runs everybody over. Whoa. Oh, shit. That's what I would have talked about. <laughs> so he, he runs. He runs everybody he, over. The they Mex- dead? The Mexican dude's like, he just hits them. And we just like, oh, <laughs> doop, shit. Doop, doop, doop. <laughs> they dead? No, nah, I don't think so. We just hopped in the car and we took off. So he, so he didn't back up. He just ran over them once and y'all yeah, just he kept just, going? Yeah, he just... I like. I already he, backed up. I'm already in the car in my in the car with the girl, and I just see out the. I like. Oh shit! And some dude fly in the air. I like. Yo, we gotta go. Oh, <laughs> we gotta go. We get in the car, and then we dip. That shit has to be traumatizing, man. Nah, not really. It ain't happening to me. Yeah. <laughs> we seen. I, I, I seen it, and I was yeah. just like, damn. But we, time we, to go because right there we're out of state lines, so we're in between. Uh, New Mexico and El Paso. Uh-huh. He was like, "Shoot, man, I ain't going to jail in New Mexico today, bro." Like, <laughs> let's get in the car. Got in the car and dipped, and never talked about it that ever, ever. Mm-hmm. Like, my homeboy got his ass whooped that night, mm-hmm. <laughs> like whooped to the point mm-hmm. where he had a black eye <laughs> that he sustained for at least three months. <laughs> <laughs> he sustained that black eye for three months, and I like I think his girlfriend used to beat him up while he was sleeping too. Damn, that black eye. Yeah. There's no way a yeah. black eye from yeah. April to damn near July is still yeah, around. You're right. Like you're right. it was, yeah. and it used to change colors. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it was bad. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it was bad. It but was bad. I mean, nigga need to make some different life decisions. Oh, man. Yeah. He's the Wait, reason why. Why did got Why did you have to put that on the girlfriend? Cause, no, cause, him up no I'm telling you, the shit he did to the girl at times in El Paso. Yeah, like, was. I remember one time he he messed around with one of her enemies out there. He and he his girl found out, cut up all his clothes, all his shoes, like Club, my clothes too. <laughs> like his <laughs> shirt, your, your little ass shouldn't even been there. His shirt, she <laughs> she cut him in the down the middle, uh-huh. then we'll fold it back and put it up. His boxer, she cut it down in the middle and fold it up. Shoes, she cut brand all the way new. down, Woo. brand new shoes. And this is stuff he's getting from Capo, like yeah, all these, that's yeah. so yeah. type of crazy. He's, yeah. He has all the fresh. He's gonna be clothes, crazy, all the be all the way shoes, crazy. Everything. Fold it back up. She so he don't need to destroy all the PlayStation and games. Some of, some but of they, they still stay together. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they still some stay of them were mine too. So oh yeah, Nana stuff. Nana and, should, yeah, uh, Nana still got cut up. Yeah, like, yeah man. Like it got to, it got so bad, like to the point where she had to come live with us because the laws <laughs> raided, no. raided her crib, <laughs> raided her crib, her ass in yeah. with her child. Yeah, there was. Thought she had a child. Yeah, and that's that's the only reason why we took. 
We took him in because she had a child, plus she had food stamps. So we yeah. Like, this. yeah. Oh my if god. If she didn't have a kid, I'd be like, yo, hey, put, on the, put on the put on the armor had, of God. She had the college student. <laughs> food yeah, you a, come you, on. you a broke college student yeah, shoot, man. That's an opportunity. She yeah. got food stamps. We're like, all right, man, you can stay with us, like till you get situated or whatnot. But yeah. like, cause the laws raided her crib because they had heard about the drug dealing going on. So. Yeah, yeah, and even during that time period, I notice now I understand when when they talk about hoes, what our hoes are. There were women that were in when you see that movie Black Blue Magic from mm-hmm. Larry Hoover. Uh-huh. When I you go to a trap house and you really see girls naked, you know you see that, and then they try to uh, solicit me sex. And I was scared. When I say... Mm-hmm. Obviously, you took somebody up on that offer. No, when I no, say... No sex. Capo had power to the point, like, any girl, just about any girl, he'll tell, like, shoot, fuck my homie, fuck the little homie, whatever. They was doing it. it All these stories that sound like he more so has an intimidation over yeah, women yeah. than no, He than did men. have intimidation over women. And money. And he had the money. Like... The the other dudes in his crew weren't eating like him. Mm-hmm. They was doing all the work. He was the one eating. So like Nana said, he'll take everybody buy some shoes, buy some clothes. That was your. That was how you. Was yeah, earning. you know that one real money. Yeah, that he that wasn't one. really. Po- he was pocketing everything. Yeah, really, yeah, like so. And those are the niggas. Those be the niggas that turn on you. Mm-hmm. When you eating your crew that, isn't. And that's, what that's, that's probably what. That's, that's what, what happened. happened. That's what Boom. happened. Yeah. All right. Mm-hmm. When they get offered, so they snitch the way. Oh, yeah. I, yeah. From what I heard, one of the guys on the crew ended up snitching. Yes, mm-hmm. sir. Like he was, I heard he was wearing a wire. <laughs> Your days are numbered, buddy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And got him. Yeah. And like the boys is all, like all of them. Yeah, I, I know. I wouldn't up. last a day in jail. Hell Not no. at all. We know. Mm-hmm. So, thank you guys for that story. Yeah. That was very interesting. Yeah, it was. Thank God yeah. that's over. All but right. th- those are all hypotheticals, by the way. All right, we got it. Mm-hmm. Hypotheticals. All right, let's close out. Mm-hmm. Hey, yo, it's AJK Jamal. You can follow me at E J I K E J A M A L. Oh, make sure y'all fuck with the show. Problematic Safe Place. Follow us on at. We the safe place on IG, Twitter. I had like a, I don't know what just happened. Brain fire. Yeah, yeah. Also follow us up and uh, look at us. Look at us on your favorite podcast app. We everywhere. Des. Oh, I go last because I'm the best. Oh, that's right. That's right. Hey, and once again, those were all hypotheticals. Um, but anyways, go follow me on Instagram at n a n a underscore m a n n n, and then you can follow me on Snapchat at. N A N A underscore M A N Nana Man. I know you're not doing the laugh anymore. <laughs> this last episode, because oh, that what ain't it. Because yeah. that ain't it. Well, she kind of yeah roasted me on that laugh. She said that wasn't it. I actually don't think the laugh is that bad. Yeah. But that shit was funny as hell last week. Yeah. Well, it, it was that bad in that audition. <laughs> I mean, you can use it here, but that audition was terrible. <laughs> Bitch. Y'all, you want to shut yourself up? Oh. No, I got nothing to plug. I don't oh. even use my Instagram. He don't want to be associated with I don't even know the name of my Instagram, so I'm good. All right. Well, it's Wait, your girl. I'm the beast. Yeah, it's your girl. <laughs> smart. <laughs> it's your girl, Dez. You can follow me on Instagram, uh, I-T-S-D-S-I-C-A-K-E-S. I have to think about that every time. Um, but yeah, thanks for tuning in, you guys. Yo, it's a problematic safe place. We out. We out. <laughs> yeah.